Um, you know the cool thing is? I recognize some of the people that won the raffle. Oh, Magnus blundered! He's losing! What, again? He's, is he stepping into mate again like he There's did in the previous elders, game? Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Let's, let's try to re reason this out like humans. Why is this losing? <laughs> Apparently F3? F3, F3 again, the F4, F3. the MVP, the F, F3. it was the F3 pawn in the previous game too, where the oh, Dubo no. won, the same pawn, the same is MVP see it? pawn. Oh he my god, it. this is it? Oh, this we are going to get a reaction now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get your scissors out. We are going clipping. Yes, we are, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, Love played well in the second game, but today was just, I mean, was just a disaster because I was actually doing pretty well in this first game. Um, but I, I played a couple of moves that made no sense. Like I played this Bishop A6 move, which was terrible. And, and then I played King F7. And I think, you know, yesterday I felt like Love had to find some moves. He had to, he had to play some, some good chess um, at some critical moments. But today, like... I basically just handed it to him. So it's, it's very disappointing um, the way that today went yesterday. I mean, I, I think, you know, I, I think love found some, some good moves and he totally deserved it today though. Like I just, I basically turned it into a game that you'll show, you'll show, you'll show your students about how to, um, how to like get an outpost for a night or how to play with, with activity on both sides um, of the board versus pawns in the center. So I mean, today was very frustrating. Um, you know, in the second game, I, I, I could have made a draw at a couple of points, but I really felt like uh, it, it made more sense to go for broke there than, say, draw the game and then be in the same situation, but just with black, where it would be a must win already because I had lost the first match. So um, after the first game today, there was just, like, not, not much to talk about. On the flip side, there's a lot of good stuff, of course, with um, – with how much money has been raised for charity, uh, which which is amazing so far. So big shout out to both of you guys. And I'll let you guys talk because I've been talking nonstop for way too long. No, 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 no Hikaru, so we wanted I'm, I'm to good. hear you. <laughs> Anna, we wanted no, you to talk. hear from you. Uh, I, I want to give the floor back to Hikaru because we all wanted to hear from him. And obviously the result is not what we were hoping for. We wanted, we wanted this to be a, a massive comeback day as you did it in the previous event against Maxim Vashelagra. We hoped that we were really hoping that it was going to happen again because you've done it so many times, winning on demand, making huge comebacks. Um, the first game we thought was, was going your way. Do you, do you think there was any chance after the opening to push E5 or C5? We were wondering if, if there was a way to avoid this uh, control that, the eleven eventually ended up having on the E file and C file, the C file square. I mean, I think there were a couple options to do it. I mean, I mean, basically, I can tell you what happened though. Like, I, I saw, I felt like Bishop A six was a bad move. I don't know if you guys can pull up the game, but like, I felt like intuitively it was a bad move. And then after like thirty seconds, I'm like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll just play it anyway. And um, and uh, yeah, it was <laughs> not a good move. Let me. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna load the game in. The way uh, these games have been loaded in. Yeah. Uh, they're difficult to keep track of. Yeah, Bishop A6, we were basically just like trying to figure out if you had to play E5 there or not. If you had to Yeah, I don't know if E5, it. I don't know if E5 was necessarily the right move, or there maybe was some A5, E5, but basically I felt like I had a good position. And I'm like, okay, I can just go actually, you know what I thought I saw? This was a game of the shows just how off I was. I saw rookie one, rookie H E one here. Mm -hmm. And my idea was oh, I just go rookie E8 and E5 next move. Of course, after rook a8, white just goes queen a5, and and I'm just doing terribly, I think. Right? Isn't white just better? Yeah. Is the, I mean, is, the, yeah. is is he just gonna take on a7, or is it just about like control and you you can't really move? Well, the problem is if I go bishop c4, there's knight c5, I think, and oh, then and there's b, a b3. b3. Yeah. Uh, um... Yeah, I mean, this this basically is exactly why I should never go bishop a6, and I just played bishop a6. So I just didn't, I just didn't want to really think. I mean, I know, I know that sounds pretty ridiculous, but but kind of, I just, I just wanted to. Like we were very, just, like, we were super perplexed by his London stuff. What what is? I mean, like he was totally taking it out of like theory. I mean, we were we were like kind of commending it, sort of. It was interesting, but it's it was strange i mean i i think i think it worked out very well for love because because also it just you just get a game and when you combine the fact that i wasn't sharp with the, and then you're in a situation where you just have to find moves and calculate um and i wasn't really doing that very well it's just very difficult i mean this this sort of i think bishop basics highlights in a sense uh, a large part of why i lost the match which is that 
in these moments when it was just a game of chess, like uh, for whatever reason, I just, I didn't, I didn't really want to think, I just want to play a move. Like I, I mean, I knew Bish basics was probably not a good move, but I was like, oh, who cares? I just do it. And somehow I play E5 or C5 and I'm just fine. Um, but yeah, this was, this was really, really uh, a bad move. I think, I think probably I should have played um, E5 maybe, or just mm -hmm. rookie eight first on E5. Um, well, E5, we were like, he, he's not, is he going to take or not? Is he just going to keep the tension? Like I mean, I think he has to take and go rook h e one. I thought I thought because if I get e four and f five, then I should be much better. Yeah, we were trying. We were like we were deliberating because we thought that if if he if he takes, you can stabilize the center and then you can still yeah, keep pushing. Yeah, and I, I guess yeah, this kind of shows. Yeah, the computer says black is better. Yeah, I mean th this this really shows just sort of how how much I was not feeling it because I thought here he could go like rookie two, rookie one, and he was better or something, but. Yeah, yeah, just eh, it's just one of those days. Yeah, to to put some extra pressure on here. And, and I think you know what what also is really really I mean frustrating with this game is that like the, with the way that I played it, um, where I went bishop a six, like yeah. I, I mean rookie three and rookie one and knight c five was just it was just so thematic, it was so obvious, and I I mean like. I was just, yeah, I was just like insane the way that I played this. I mean, maybe I should have gone rookie seven. Yeah, I should have gone rookie seven, rookie eight, maybe, and it's it's still fine. Not that there isn't, not that not that it's not like okay for white, but at least it's not like just great for white. Whereas what I did in the game, every single move for Levon is automatic. I mean, it's just force. And and when he went knight c five, I actually like I completely forgot that he could just go rook a three. I mean, mm. I, I just thought that I forgot. I thought takes, takes, and I just play e5, and I'm fine. I just completely forgot he could go rook a3. And after queen takes c5, um, like, yeah, the, the rest of the game is just over. And to make matters worse, there's also a knight d4, knight f5, even if mm. I go like rook c7, bishop c8. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty pretty gross. I mean, I, I think, yeah, once, once this happened, there was just nothing I could do. Um, so, yeah. And second game, I mean, I don't think there's even really much to say about the second game other than the fact that I just kept trying to play quickly and keep the game alive. Um, I could have drawn that at multiple points, but again, because I'd lost the first match, even if I draw that game, I'm in a must-win situation in the third game with black. And I thought it was better to go for it with white and just play something random. Right. Uh, okay, we have we have one more result uh, from the second round, which is... Uh, by the way, just just to be clear, mm -hmm. you guys, I, I'll, I'll hang with you guys for the rest of the commentary. Like, I'm, I'm Thank not you so much. Anymore, so, we we so I'll, didn't I'll know out. if you wanted to. Well, we really appreciate your time. Thank you, Hikaru. You gonna you 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 gonna stream too after if we hit a certain donation goal maybe uh, or um, you gonna take a if, break if, and if, sleep? If, okay, I'll, I'll make I'll 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 be bold. If we hit two hundred, um, I'll 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 stream. How's that? Sounds I think that's perfect. We... we have a new goal. Two hundred go. K for uh, Hikaru yeah. to stream. <laughs> By the way, Benny Hayes, the guy just donated five subs. That's the second time doing it. He won the first giveaway, so he won Thank a PS5 today. Thank you so much, today. Benny. Nice. Um, but by the way, I did want to add one other thing. Um, I noticed a few people actually donated directly to me. Those donations, I will, I'll just, I'll make a donation as well. Um, so there's a couple of people who, who I think accidentally donated to me instead of donating to the charity. I'll, um, I, I will uh, take those donations and, and I'll make a donation myself afterwards. Thank you so much for that. Yes, so we have a, maybe a bit of confusion, but now it should be one link. Uh, if you guys mm -hmm. see the, the link in the chat, the charity command, that's the link you need to click on. And remember, there will be more giveaways, but the donations in between the giveaways, those are the ones that go for the final giveaway. And that's five chessboards signed by Hikaru. Hikaru, yes. how many, uh, how valuable you think is a chessboard uh, with your signature? Oh my what God. What would you say? <laughs> what, what's right. the moral, right. the moral, <laughs> emotional I, I, value of a chessboard? I, Sign by you. I don't I don't know actually I'm not sure um, <laughs> it's, uh, I mean I, I think it's it's significant you know I think um, I think you know it's not even so much about that I think it's just you know tr trying to do something good if people donate money and they have the opportunity to win win something to give away I think it's just you know it's more about it's more about the cause than, than anything else so I just I hope people uh, enjoy it also I, I, I was going to say one other thing I might have to I, they're saying that that like I have to play games, but I think it's, I, I assume I don't, but if I do you guys, I mean, of course I'll just make a couple of quick draws and, and rejoin you guys. Wait, you oh, have to play. I don't think I do, but I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know what they're saying. 
But, yes, okay. we thought the system was that once the match is decided, you don't have yeah. to play the remaining games, but uh, keep us posted on, on what they are saying. Just pretend you fell asleep, but spend time with us. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They Sorry, will not exactly. notice you are live on yes. air yes. Uh, with 30,000 people watching on your channel solely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, also, you know, what I would say, I was thinking about this in general, you guys, I know people are saying I should be pretty unhappy, like, and I'm not happy with the result, obviously, but I think when, when your opponent just plays better than you do overall, there's really not, not much to be said. Like, I mean, when I look at the, when I look at the result, um, I wouldn't say there was some moment when I missed something huge and, um, yeah, what they're, I, I guess they're saying I have to play game three. So I guess I'll just go make a quick draw and, and join you guys, um, join you guys, uh, in a few minutes if they're actually saying that, but. Uh... Luis, your bonk land is a question in the chat. I don't know if the, the opening will allow it, but Levon plays with the white pieces. Oh, actually, yeah. no, wait, you have, you have the, but I'm confused no, with the, the color black order. Pieces, but, black but pieces, yeah, I mean. Trickier. Yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever. That's <laughs> stupid. Um, you know, it, it, it actually, it reminds me, uh, actually a match I had against Levon's. Like I played Levon in the, in this 960 match in, um, in, I think it was in mines and mines in Germany mm -hmm. and I had won the match and then they made us play a fourth game. It was just like, so, so insane. Um, so yeah, but, but since they're making it sound like we have to, I mean, obviously I'll just make a quick draw and I'll rejoin you guys, uh, in, you know, afterwards, but we still have 17 minutes. Uh, would you like to experience the adrenaline rush of a uh, of a giveaway? Sure, why not? Yeah. Okay. So the way this works, Anna. First things first. What? Uh, let's let's remind everybody what we're gonna give away this time around. We gonna give away the RTX 3080. That is uh, a graphics card I want to buy, but I can't. So one of you will have a graphics right, card that I really really wish for. What is, what is it, what is their <laughs> stock doing, by the way? Uh, it's it's flat. Okay. Keep going. Mm -hmm. So we have we have a graphics card to give away together with a signed board. We have a couple of more boards signed by Hikaru. He has been signing boards just for you guys. So that is the RTX 3080, our next prize, together with a board signed by Hikaru. And I think we have another informative video before the giveaway starts. Levy. Yes, yes. We uh, we spoke uh, we spoke to Care before every single giveaway. Uh, we want to draw attention to an important issue. Uh, and uh, let me play this video, guys, and then. Just Hikaru, wait, uh, wait till it's done, and then we'll uh, we'll get hype and we'll get a giveaway <laughs> sure. going. Absolutely. Famine. It means extreme hunger. Well, on that note, mm -hmm. we have uh, we've opened the giveaway once again. I uh, I really thank them for these uh, for these clips. You know, it's a lot better than us sitting here and just saying, "Hey, donate." This actually gives you mm -hmm. a lot more uh, kind of like life to the issue, uh, shows you the people who are suffering, and shows you the people who you will be helping. 
Um, yeah, it's a sad reality, and we just hope that this will be less of an issue in the future. We can make a better future together with organizations like CARE. So remember, this goes to the communities, to the families and children that need it the most when it comes to fighting hunger and malnutrition. And by supporting CARE today, you can also win something, and that is an RTX 3080, the graphics card I'm trying to buy, but I cannot. So you will win a graphics card you know that I you don't have. Buy, right, Anna? You know why I you can't, can't buy it. Why, why? why I cannot? Have you bought them all, Hikar? Because something something keeps going up when it shouldn't be going up, and everybody's using it to, to mine. That's why. <laughs> oh, well, in any case, though, uh, apart from those <laughs> who don't let me buy it and the reason why they don't let me buy it, we have one for free. It's free. If you donate during the period that you see there, the timer, the timer is already below eight minutes. That's the time you have left to participate in the giveaway. Remember, previous donations don't matter for this giveaway. You need to donate within this time frame. So if you want to win an RTX 3080 and a board signed by Hikaru, you need to donate within this period. Donations below $25, you get one ticket per dollar. Donations above $25, uh, you get okay, two okay. tickets per dollar. So, sorry, just very briefly before we do the giveaway, I think uh -huh. Dubov Blunder, just just very Ooh. briefly in between. I think, I think he might still be a draw, but this was an easy draw, and now it's not a clear draw. So just wanted to say that. I What I wanted to say is, did you ever expect that... I mean, obviously, we all think very, very highly of our communities, but sometimes they go to a level with these sorts of things that are incredible. We've just raised $12,000 in a minute. Nice, very wow. nice. Wow. Thank like, you so much, everyone. And remember that the, it's exclamation mark charity, the right command, and that's the link you need to click on, not exclamation mark giveaway. You cannot enter the giveaway with that command. There's no such thing. You need to click on the link, <laughs> go to the website, and that's where you can enter by donating. Or if you want to enter for free, there's a way again through the link, but you need to click on that link. The more you donate, the more tickets you get. So the more the chances. Since I've said that last sentence, we have now raised another $10,000. Oh, wow. Wow. That's amazing. I have a feeling I'm going to have to stream, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately? <laughs> or fortunately, we'll see. Actually, on, on a, like, what I, I mean, this is, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a kind of a difference of, um, of matches. Like, last time you had the match versus Wesley, this time you had the match versus Levon. Like, what are your takeaways from, from both? Um, I mean, I would say the first takeaway, uh, first of all, what is Rook H7? Doesn't King D6 just draw here? Or not? I'm confused. Isn't this just an easy draw? I don't understand. What should Magnus have, have played instead of Rook H7? Was there I, I mean, I thought King B6, King C7, and maybe there was some trick. I, I don't know if it's, it's probably still a draw, but I mean, this is just an easy draw. Easy draw. Any, anyway, um, yeah. So I guess my takeaways are, I mean, the match against Wesley, I felt that I played pretty well throughout. Like, I, I thought, like, I mean, Wesley was a better player, of course, in that match as well, and he deserved to win, but I thought I played well in that match. This match kind of, um, it's, it, it's weird to say it, but I felt like the early start really, I just, I mean, I mean, for lack of a better word, my brain just wasn't working at the start, at the start of these matches um, at 6 a.m., uh, and I mean, yeah, it's just, I, I just have to play better if, if the event starts at 6 a.m. Just that simple. Just that simple. There will be plenty of more events. Luckily, the Champions do runs for the whole year, but the giveaway doesn't run for the whole year, guys. No. There's less than five minutes five left. Minutes. You need to enter within the next four and a half minutes if you want a chance to win an RTX 3080 and the chessboard signed by Hikaru. Remember, every donation, if it's below $25, it's one ticket per dollar. If it's above $25, you get two tickets per dollar. And you can also enter, if you cannot contribute, if you don't have the means to donate, you can still enter. We want everyone to be part of this. Click on the link and go to the page where you can enter for free. That's our donation link, but also the rest of the information on how you can enter for free. There's uh, so many of you. It is unbelievable. I mean, 5, 10, 50, 25, like, it's just, just, just so many of you donating. I was going to ask, Hikar, I was going to ask you this question. Like, we've mm -hmm. all played, we've all played in tournaments. You've played in tournaments, uh, you know, just mildly more important than the ones that, you know, Anna and I might have participated in. You've played all the, like, you know, these, these top guys. When you, when you don't have a good day, yeah. Oftentimes you spend it alone or with your mm -hmm. trainer or, you know, with like two people, three people. You try to incubate, you know, you try to keep yourself right. from like unwinding. But here you're joining a community of, I mean, how many viewers we got right now? 35, it's like 40,000, right? 
How mm-hmm. different has it been? How have you had to adapt to this change? Like you have to talk to people now. It's not that you can just sit there and like, how has that been like for um, you? I mean, I think in, in many ways it's much more freeing. It's, it's easier kind of just play and have fun. Um, again, I think that's the biggest difference. Like for example, if I, if I look at this law today and whether it was online or over the board, whatever, whatever it is, um, if you go back maybe before, before the whole Twitch boom took off, uh, I'd be in a pretty terrible frame of mind right now. I'd be, I'd be really, really unhappy with, with, um, with what has happened. Uh, but I, I think in general, when there are more people around you also, you feel the encouragement. So even though this event didn't go the way I wanted it to go, um, there's always the next event. And, and so for me, I, th- I think actually, if anything, it, it, it makes it easier to just relax and just focus on the next day or the next tournament for that matter. No, I just, I just wanted to draw that point because I do remember, I mean, covering, well, there was the tournaments you would play in and then you would boot up a stream like mm-hmm. in Gibraltar, was it? When you were neighbors with Wesley and that whole thing. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like, if you didn't have a good result, you're uh-huh. like you're not gonna stream you're gonna like chill rest like get like shake it off but here it's like you always join win or lose we don't even have to well i, I mean i I, th- I think the thing you know at the end of the day also is um you know it's it's i think i think this applies to many things whether it's chess whether it's poker or, or you know w- whatever game it is if you're playing at a professional level and i think there's like you, you kind of have to, it's very, it's very easy when you win to be very positive, to, you know, sort of just like be very energetic. But I think, you know, being able to do that when you lose is actually a quality that's far more important. Um, and so for me, like even, even, even though this didn't go well, there are bigger things, there are more important things. And knowing that there's so many fans who do enjoy the stream, who are going through tough times, um, that I think is at the end of the day more important. So I, I do tend to keep that in mind um, quite a bit. Hey, Carol, we're going to be talking to you for the next uh, segment too, but let me just remind the viewers that the giveaway is almost over. This is your final chance to enter if you want to win our RTX 3080 and the board signed by Hikaru. This is the final minute of the giveaway. You need to donate within this time, min- the, the time limit, the 10-minute time limit we had for this giveaway. Yep, there's a... Uh, my, my, my dashboard timer is broken once again. You guys, You guys almost broke my dashboard twice. Mine is also donated. broken. This is um, insane. The amount that has been already raised. Yeah, I can't I, even I, see it on my screen because it's broken on my dashboard. Is, isn't Zubov ahead in the match? He's going to be ahead, right? He's ahead. He won the first game. I don't know if you saw right. it, but it was... I saw, it, I saw the end. I mean, I didn't know what was going on. I, I mean, was Queen H8 playable for me? Yeah, it was the only move and it was it was holding. It was holding. It wasn't winning, okay. but it was holding. It wasn't winning? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. So And sorry, final reminder, because the, the giveaway comment, guys, does not work. It's the charity comment and you need to click on the link. Make sure to donate within these final seconds. There's no such thing as exclamation mark giveaway. You need to click on the link yeah, in the charity seconds. comment. 30 mm-hmm. seconds. Giveaway is not the command, but you guys, uh, <laughs> you guys still want to want to spam it and uh even on slow mode it's unbelievable we have a hundred eighty nine thousand dollars raised 15 seconds by the way this is um this is this is this is the uh the third giveaway of the day we've already raised two hundred thousand dollars and hikaru said 200k so hikaru will be streaming go beyond that uh yeah, i'll be streaming i mean maybe i'll be doing a pog chance reveal maybe oh maybe i don't know maybe whoa <laughs> i don't know i don't know um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Anna, act surprised. We know nothing. We, we've we never heard. <laughs> we we've know nothing. We've never heard uh... about Fox Show 3. We know nothing. We know nothing. But uh, wow, that would be huge. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who donated. And the winner is Null03. Congratulations on your RTX 3080 and the board signed by Hikaru. Congrats. Good job. Uh, so this... Uh... This means they have won what specifically, Anna, as we crossed the 190k mark? Well, they have won the graphics cards I'm trying to buy and I cannot, so I'm already jealous. They have won that graphics card, but there will be more giveaways. Guys, don't feel bad if you have not won because we still have more giveaways. The next break, too, we have giveaways and the donations in between the giveaways that goes to the final giveaway with the five boards signed by Hikaru. So every donation that's $25 or above donated during the broadcast at any point, that will go for the final giveaway. He okay, covered. so so sorry to cut you guys off, but I think yeah, they're saying I have to play a third game. So um, so I will be back in like five minutes or something like that. But big big shout out to everybody! Thank you so much for the uh, over one hundred ninety thousand dollars that has been raised so far. 
Um, thank you so much to everybody for, for supporting a great cause. And I will, I'll have to go cause I have to jump in the other zoom meeting, but I'll be back in like five minutes. So I'll see you guys. Okay. Sure. Sounds okay. good. I don't understand why they make Hikaru play the last game. I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna bite my tongue. Yeah. Uh, so the you, situation you, uh, to uh, for the for everyone <laughs> for everyone to understand the situation, um, every match consists of two days. Yesterday's set was won by Lavon Aronian. So today Hikaru had to make a comeback within the four rapid games that they have. Uh, he had to score two and a half points, and mathematically, it's already impossible. That means that Hikaru is unfortunately eliminated. It's Lavon Aronian who qualifies to tomorrow's semifinals. But that's the reason why we don't understand why he has to show up for a game that doesn't have any significance anymore. The match is decided. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it, it literally doesn't make any sense. But it's okay. But, oh, uh, well. What anyway. makes a lot of sense is that you guys are supporting this cause because CARE, as we said, first responders to global crisis and also present in 100 countries to help fight hunger and malnutrition. This is a very important cause and we hope that in the future it will not be a cause that we need to be supporting because it will be an issue that's solved. But for now, it is a huge issue in the world and we are trying to give back and trying to support those who need it a lot more than us. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. I know we cannot read out the full list, but so many of you have come together to donate. It's almost, uh, wait, wait a second, the donation goes going above, mm -hmm. like 100, 190,000 raised. At 200,000, Hikaru will be streaming after his game, after this broadcast. And I think we can keep adding to that because he said he may leak information on Park Champs 3. What, what would be the figure for that, Levy? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know what would be the figure. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to bribe because you know, in case he actually doesn't do it, because they, they tell him <laughs> to please not leak anything. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we will see when he comes back and and if we can confirm whether. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna leak something call. right now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not gonna leak anything. Else. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this. It is going to be massive. That's all I have to say. Yeah, it's going to be. And you massive. will want to hear this. You will want to hear this. The day yes. it can be announced. We will see if he can announce it today or another day, but it will be a huge announcement. Yes. The day it will be announced. I definitely uh, will probably get in a lot of trouble. So I'm going to just let Hikaru leak it because he can't get in trouble. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I might, get in, I, I might get in a little trouble, you know. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's going to be big. No Obama. No. We, we invited him. No, we didn't invite him. Uh, but we, you know, I think he's a little bit busy. Maybe Pog Champs 4. What I really love is the fact that the first one was this big spectacle. The second one was also big, but it was it was it was tough to gauge whether or not the third one, depending on what happened in chess in the world, whether or not it would be big. And now that Queen's Gambit came along, it's gonna be so. It's oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, no, this is huge. Th this is huge, and then we will we will know uh, what other goals can we have at 200k remember we're 10k away less than 10k away from having hikaru stream for the rest of the day after the broadcast then maybe maybe he could reveal some of the participants names for pock champs 3 let's see we, we will soon have the confirmation whether it's possible or not because we we don't want uh, hikaru to get into trouble but if we can offer that as a donation goal we will yeah, we're just basically uh, we're just basically finding out in how much trouble we will get in. You know, generally <laughs> the good rule of thumb is you know do it and then ask forgiveness. Uh, but uh, in this case, just yeah. want to make sure everything everything's good. But oh man, I'm I'm pumped. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time. And chess just keeps keeps catching bigger waves. That's what keeps happening. Um, okay, Wesley So and MVL have drawn a game in nine moves. Oh, what? All right. Um... Wow, Wesley not going for the win. Wesley is saying I'm up two to one. So I don't I'm up one and a half half, actually. And and now I'm up two to one. So Wesley doesn't care about winning anymore. Wesley won his game. He's now gonna try to draw with black to force a blitz playoff with MVL. Oh, that's exciting. 
Yeah, he's being very practical. At the same time, that means that MVL can go all in in that final game because if he does end up winning it, so the Frenchman is trailing in this match of today. He won yesterday, but today Wesley has made a comeback. But MBL in the final, final game could just go all in because the result will be the same if he loses or draws. But if he ends up winning, then he qualifies to the semifinals without any blitz games. And they started like on 11 o'clock on the, on the dot, these guys. So I don't, I don't know here what's going on with, with Hikaru. Uh, maybe he's given them a piece of their mind uh, there, his mind. Uh, no, I mean, I think in this case, you know, if you're, if you're being forced to play the third game uh, and uh, and they're saying, you know, we'll kick you out of the tour or something if you don't, I, again, I don't know if that's what's going on because, like, what exactly is stopping him from being like, guys, I lost. Even if I win the next two games, I lost. Like, my result in this game is meaningless. Win, lose, or draw. It's not rated. Yeah, it's not must see TV because Carlson's playing and you feature Carlson 95% of the time anyway. So <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. So I don't know. Um, yeah, the draw line in the night orf is actually the one that they've threatened us with multiple times with Bishop e3 knight g4 and this kind of very age old repetition in the night orf. Um, so Lev isn't even there. All right. Well, there you go. Lev left. Lev also left. Lev left oh. because he was like, well, I won, so I'm going to go chill with my dog. So there you go. They should forfeit wow. Lev, and now Hikaru has to play Blitz against him. I, I mean, it's... it's Hikaru blitz. was right. Hikaru called it. Like, why would Lev Aronia sit there when he has already won the match? Uh, he, he already has won the match, and for that reason, there's no need to play the third game. Neither of them wanted to play it, nor there's a need. Right, so now, now that if they forced Hikaru to go play, but Lev completely didn't show up, does Lev just get forfeited for the entire match then? Because if the match is still technically live... So what now? What now? What now? What now? now how yeah. the turn have tabled, you know? <laughs> I don't think they will forfeit Lev on for it, but yes, this is... This is very strange that they, they tell Hikaru to show up... Um, they could not get in touch with his opponent. Levon is already perhaps in the park with his dog Ponchik. Yeah, I hope Levon is like is doing a digital disconnect right now. He's like, I won, I'm good, you know, I'm, I'm just <laughs> gonna go, you know, hang out with my dog and um yeah. Well anyway, the game is on the bottom left if it ever does start. Meanwhile, we got Dubov and we got Carlson and uh Dubov and Carlson have not just played one game. That is a score that we will update. Uh, Rajab of Nepal are playing a game as well. Oh, here comes Hikaru. <laughs> Let me turn off and on my camera again. God, what a mess. It's yeah. okay. Chess has never had an online tour, and we've never been very good at we've never been good at organizing anything. So. Um. Anyway, stop the count and all that. <laughs> Don't stop the count on the fundraiser, though, guys. No, definitely not. Uh, Don't. I I, okay, there's Hikaru. I'm gonna click the admit button, and uh, I'm gonna move things around here. Can you hear me? Yes, we yes, can. Yes, welcome right, back, so, Hikaru. Are you gonna get message that you have to go back or something? What is? No, I, I, I mean, um, this is incredible. Yeah. Oh, what? Uh, I can't hear Hikaru. Anymore. Oh, you can't hear me. Oh, no, we can I... hear you now. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, let me uh, just say one quick thing about this to be very clear. I, I think you know, um, this whole event, this whole sequence of events is very good. But I will say that as far as Chess Twenty Four goes, they need to like, if they make a contract and you have rules that things are going to be done a certain way, they should not be changing things from tournament to tournament. Um, mm -hmm. So in the contract, it says we have to play the games. Now, obviously, I think it's completely insane um, to, to say that. I, I think they should have actually worded the contract differently. But if they're gonna, if they're gonna make that rule, then I think everybody should have to play the games. Like I should just have to play LeBron. We make our quick draw and we move on versus um, versus uh, versus suddenly change the rules on the fly. And, and I would say similarly, they also changed the rules for this event in that there is now a match between third place and fourth place. In the contract that was specified, there was not going to be a match and they've decided to change this on the fly also. So I think... Um, it's very important that if they're gonna if they're gonna make a 37 page contract and have these rules stipulated, you have to follow the contract and you do not suddenly make changes on the fly as we're going along. Um, 
I, so I do want to add that to be very clear. I'm very curious about something. So is the is the point in the contract that you have to play at least three games? Like you have to decide a mini match and theoretically since you could make it two to two, you have to keep playing. It's not about the overall match. Like I think so. I think so. But anyway, okay. I mean I'll I'll take a look again, um to be very clear. Uh, but I just I think it's 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 a little bit insane that the rules seem to be changing um, sort of on the fly during the event after there was this very long um, after this was very long uh, sort of contract that was written up. So I would say that. Um, so so that, that, that's what I would add um, in, in general. Now, back back to the games, because that is what we're here to watch. Uh, this is yes. going to be very interesting to see what Magnus does, because he's in a must win situation. Well, not not must win, but his back is against the wall here. Um, yeah, this is, and uh... it's very rare. It's, it's very rare that Magnus ends up in a situation like this. I mean, the only other time that I can really think of where he was in sort of a muscle situation or there was a lot of pressure was at the end of the candidates tournament, the one that he won back in, I believe it was 2014, um, where there was a lot of pressure at the, at the end of the game or at the end of the tournament. Yeah, that was wild. I remember yeah. my whole day that day because uh, of just how, how intense it all was. It was the final round of the candidates. <sighs> Man, sorry, I I don't I don't know if I like what Dubov's doing here. H four. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean I H4. I know that it's a move in many of these Catalan positions, but in a situation like this, I find it interesting that he's he's taking big risks with White in game three. Whereas if he if he were to say be solid and and try to make a draw or, or just you know keep it calm, Magnus would have to win in the final game with White. And I find it interesting that Dubov is trying to be very aggressive in this game. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Yeah, here, uh, okay, Magnus just, just going for, I feel like du Dubov infusing some life into, into, into like these Catalan positions and getting a lot of like mm -hmm. weird attacking play is, uh, it's good. It's good for an opening like the Catalan. I remember you did that. You played this early B5 move, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the Catalan, it's, it, it, it can go both ways. I think for Magnus, this is the dream, though. He definitely wants to try and win this game um, because he's behind in the, in, the, in the match. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this game progresses here. But I, I definitely, I think there's, I, I think, I mean, I think this is going to be a decisive game. Either Dubov's going to win this game and, and it's all over or, um, or Magnus will find a way to win. Well, that's that's Hikaru's prediction, and I think you mo you most likely will be right. But I want to ask the viewers if they could also predict the result. Uh, what about making a prediction time, whether in the chat or as a poll? I think you guys like to predict too. So tell us if you agree with Hikaru. This will be a decisive result, and who will win if it's a decisive result? That's the next question to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Over 30,000 of you on Hikaru's channel. And uh, on the secondary dance floor, that's, that's on my end. We also have 3.5 uh, thousand uh, of you watching. Thank you so yeah. much for tuning in. All right, Levy, go for it. Take it away. Take it away. Me? You know what the crowd wants. Take it away. Oh, <gasps> it's Take your it turn, Levy. Yeah, your speech. It's my speech? Of course. You're About always the one. The free stuff, Levy. I are are we are we doing another giveaway? Is that what we're doing, or something oh, I, else? I, I thought you were gonna else. remind the viewers of the free stuff they we, can we have. We have that too. We have that too. Ah, uh, okay, okay, Hikaru. I didn't know if you <laughs> wanted me to address the elephant in the room. Sure. Ah, uh, okay. Should we watch this guy? This thing? Should we? So, is that what we're doing right now? Uh I would. You know, I I couldn't tell if we were going to take the the high road on this one. Um. I see everybody trying to clip some some nonsense out of context chat. All right, but you know what? You all have you you you've won it over. Um, we'll watch this. We will talk about it briefly. Um, fine, you win. Let me just get it on the screen, okay? Because I don't. Sure. Yeah. No rush. I. It's not my. Cha it, you know. I. I do this stuff when I'm on my own channel. But if we're on multiple channels, then I just wanna. I just wanna make sure I have I have uh, proper clearance. Okay. Everyone's been sending us this clip. Let's watch it. Hikaru Nakamura, he's been named uh, a bad loser. He is a loser today. He is out of the tournament. Do you think he's going to do some smashing and slashing of some stuff, David? 
Quite possibly, Kaya. Um, we know that he's not actually playing from his normal offices. He's at home this time, so I'm hoping he doesn't smash anything too valuable. Mm. Um, he definitely hasn't been at his best. Nakamura, far from it, making those very odd one-move blunders that we never, ever see from him. And Aronian, meanwhile, with a killer instinct, spotting his opportunities every time. All right, uh, we are waiting in anticipation for the third game between Magnus Carlsen and Daniil Du, but we do know the world champion. He needs he needs at least one win in these two last games. What should we expect from the next one? Okay, that was, I guess, a longer version of, but I think mm -hmm. what, what was said was uh, said. Wow, yeah. I thought it was just straight a bait by the chat. No, that was uh no, that was that wasn't that wasn't very nice. Yeah, I didn't you see know, this coming. I didn't expect this at all. You know, th this is kind of this is kind of what I say, you know, when, when there, there there's a saying, um and I don't I don't really want to go into politics here because I think you can definitely contextualize this within politics as well. Um but what I would say is, you know, there's a saying that, you know, when when people go low, you go high. And you know, I think there are many opportunities where Chess24, they could have said, where, where Magnus, he, he made many expressions. He, of course, has been very angry at various times throughout events. And they certainly have not said such things about him. So uh, I, find, I find it very disappointing. Again, it really only reinforced the realities um, of, of, of what, I, what I've said in the past about Chess24. And, you know, it'd be, it really would be nice in a chess world if people could, um, could be objective in general. You know, for example... Um, there, there have been many times, many people have gotten angry over this or that. They've lost games, um, whether it's myself, whether it's Magnus, whether it's people like Levon even. even. Um, there have been many, many instances. And for Chess24 to sort of single me out like that and say that, you know, uh, it's, it's disappointing. Because I think in, in, the, in the world we live in today, um, being objective and being fair is something that is missing um, a lot of the time. And uh, that's, yeah, it's, it's disappointing to see that. It, it really is disappointing. Um, you know, I just, yeah, it's, it's just, it's sad. To me, it's, it's sad. It's just sad. Nothing else. Not to mention uh, the fact that we're doing that. Also, you guys, look at me. Like, I'm so, look at me. Like, I'm so angry. Like, I'm smashing things. I'm breaking <laughs> things. Look at me. I'm just, I'm so angry. Like, oh my God. You're like, smashing donation records on, a, on this charity stream. Well, I'll I'll tell that's you that. what you're smashing. Yeah, true, true, yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah, they were yeah. right. I guess they were right. Yeah. You're raising yeah. two hundred thousand yeah. dollars for charity, and this it know. keeps going. I it know. keeps going. Yeah. I know. It's... Yeah. At the same time, no, it's, it's great uh, to see. It's uh, it. I I don't know where that came from. Uh, because at, at the end of the day, we do have to also just like if if we break down the whole clip, you know, I don't think Yovanka said anything. I mean, it was it was that, a question. No, that, that wasn't that wasn't Yovanka. That I know. Was... That's what I'm saying. It was no, it no, was. No, that wasn't. That that's what I'm saying. So like, Yovanka's like not involved in this at all, and David was sort of fed the question and kind of tried to deflect it. I so mean, I, I, I mean, what I would say is I have no issue with what David said. Um, or if Yovanka had said something, they were not asked the question. I mean, they were not the ones who presented it in that manner. So I have no issue with either of them. E even what David said, I mean, yeah, I could be mildly annoyed he said that, but he he also didn't say it in any kind of mean spirited way. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I have, I have nothing but respect for David. I mean, he's, he's, he's doing a great job commentating. Um, he's obviously a very strong chess player as well. So yeah, I've, I have no issue with either of them, but as far as like the announcer saying that, I mean, I, I, I think, um, regardless of the fact that her first language is Nor Nor Norwegian, um, and not English, I still think it's very clear what the sentiment that's expressed there is. And, um, if you want to sensationalize things, I think there's a way to do it without trying to be really rude, um, towards the participants is what I would say. I feel like that's uh, that's pretty fair. I feel like we can uh, we can continue to focus on, on the games. Mm -hmm. That was uh, yeah. that was good. Fair point. All right. Uh, and this is what I would say. Also, like this is you know I, I don't I don't want to keep hashing it out, but just say you know for nonstop for for the better part of like six months, Chess Twenty Four nonstop. They were attacking me for very minor things. First, that, first it was the Ward, or not Ward, sorry. First, it was Magnus made this tweet that like, we can't do commentary on, on my channel. That was the first thing. Then there were issues about the wardrobe. There, there were like pretty much nonstop petty attacks from Chess24. And everyone's like, oh, you know, it's probably not as serious. And I've, I've, I've very rarely said anything super negative about Chess24. I think the fact that they're run, running this tour, they're trying to promote Chess Online is great. And so for Chess24 to continue to do this, um, it's really just, I mean, it's, it's disappointing. It's very disappointing. I mean, and um, yeah. And especially when you see 
to give one example, I'm not, I'm not trying to rant too much, but to give you one example, you know, with the broadcasting, Chess24, they basically were all angry at me for doing it. And then they took Chess24's event, the Speed Chess Championship, which was held on chess.com, of course, and they did their own broad, rebroadcast of that event. So to me, I, I think it's, you know, it's, it's disappointing. But as I've said before, at some point, you have to take the high road. And, and so, um, you know, I, I believe that what we're doing here, what we're, the money we're raising today for charity, um, just the general positive outlook we have and bringing chess to the fans in a way that is not negative. Um, you know, even, even, even when, you know, sometimes, sometimes we get a little carried away with Magnus, you know, it's never something where it's like, Oh, Magnus, like what, a, what a terrible loser. Like, you know, we're not like trying to dance on his grave or anything. And so to me for chess 24 to do that, it's just, uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, I mean, frankly, unacceptable, but just very disappointing. We totally understand you, Hikaru, and it, it, this this was very unfair the way the way uh, they phrased uh, and, and and put uh, that question. I think uh, for all that you have done, especially when it comes to promoting chess, m- making the game grow, mm-hmm. uh, all that you do, all that you deserve is is credit and a lot of respect. You are the number one chess streamer, and uh, you have proven every single time that that chess is a game that can be enjoyed by anyone you have brought so many new people into the chess community when it comes to the viewers as well as streamers and other content creators speaking of them i i hope that there will be some information on pop Chems 3 i think we are waiting on on confirmation whether you can uh, leak any information I mean, later I'm not, I'm not, for I'm not, a donation I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna leak any specific info but i'll say that when you see see certain big streamers playing chess on streams there's probably a good reason for that so that's, <laughs> that's all that i'm gonna say um all right. Okay. Um, I love how yeah. I'm, 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 I didn't. I, I'm, I'm an act surprised so too. So big, what? but so what? like wow. What? <laughs> then now everyone's going back to the voice. So who was playing chess lately on Twitch or YouTube or elsewhere? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's gonna be. It's, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, Magnus has has. Uh, well, Dubov just played a move that keeps keeps very much tension here. If Magnus Dub- loses this game, he's out. Yeah, Dubov's going for the kill. I really, I, the position, I it was very double-edged, but the, the, as the game progresses, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think, I wait, can White take on B5 and go rook, take on B4 and go Rook A7? Or take on B4 first? It looks like there's got to be some tactic here. Yeah, at the end there's Knight, knight D5. I mean, it's like to, to do the Gary Kasparov, there's the Gary Kasparov thing where he goes... He starts sniffing at the air, and um, I very much feel like this is a position where you don't quite know what it is, but you can feel like there's something good for white here. So um, wait, what if it's just B three? Yeah, B three also looks good too, but B three you have to calculate pawn to C five. You're opening up the whole center of the board. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a lot easier to move Dubov's pieces than to just actually do the calculating myself. I was mm-hmm. gonna I was gonna ask that game that he won. He was he was doing very well. He was crushing from the opening, but then again, he got into time trouble. This is like the fifth time against Magnus. Is it a nerves thing, or is this just is is that just Dubov? Or is it I a mean, I, th- thing? I, th- I think I mean against Magnus. I feel like in general, people do strange things against him. That they never do against anybody else. Um, so you could say it's nerves, whatever it is. But it, it's like it's not by accident that people seem to do things against Magnus that they don't do against everybody else. That's right. that's what I would say. Because it looked like Dubov like went into the 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 pit to win that game. Like he he at the end like shook himself out of it. He was like, "Whoa, mm-hmm. I gotta wake up!" And then he just he he did it. He like he he shook the nerves off. Um, well, I mean, I you mean after he lost the game? No, no, no. Well, no, after he lost advantage, he was winning that game. Dubov. Oh, okay, then, okay. So no, no. I thought you were referring to the Magnus slip where he started shaking his head. Oh no, 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 no. no. I, I meant Dubov was winning. Then he was like worse for a move, and then he won. Mm-hmm. Like it, right. So that's what right. that's what I meant. Yeah. Um, yeah yeah I don't know. no i mean i i think um i think i mean dubov's he, i mean it's nerves or whatever you want to call it i think it's just a general magnus effect more than anything um but th- this you know he, he's got he's got the game he wants here like magnus has gone into something that's very sharp very aggressive because of the situation and this is exactly what daniel um i mean he excels in these sorts of positions he's very unusual very very uh very sort of complicated positions this is what he wants and this certainly is not magnus's strength so uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here but i think um i i i took on b5 okay i mean it's still i still feel like there's something is it bishop b4 or bishop b7 i mean i still feel like there's something 
You, you know, it's interesting to note, though, if this was a slow classical game, I guarantee you Danil would have thought for like 20 minutes and probably played B3, which mm-hmm. was, I think, the best move, right? Yeah, 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 I yeah. B3, yeah, but when I you think. when you're playing when you're playing blitz and rapid and you don't have forever to think, you can only think for like one to two minutes. Because if you think for ten minutes, um, and you don't find like the crushing win, or you don't find the line that's really good for your, you, then suddenly you've lost all your time and you you're gonna suffer later in the game. Well, here, how, what is the rapid thought process like in that position where there's you know like obviously I don't want to back backtrack too much, but in that position after rook d8 like. Mm-hmm. What is your thought process? Is it my idea, my idea, my idea, let's go? Or is it like, let me calculate this first, now let me keep thinking and then come up with a second um, idea? Usually for me, yeah, I try to figure out what the candidate moves are, meaning how many moves make sense. Um, that's the okay. first thing that I would say. As, as far as the second thing, once you do that, then I take it line by line. So it's like, you know, I'd probably look at like AB5 and Bishop B4, Rook A7 first. And if I think it's good, um, but it's not conclusive, then maybe I'll take another minute and look at another variation, for example. But I think B3 here is very, very hard to play when you don't have... A, I mean, if you, if you can think for 10 minutes here or even 20 minutes and just think on B3, it's a very easy move to play. When you have to think for like one to two minutes, I think it's very, very hard. Yeah, so he does He does actually go for that first idea. Like the idea you thought about two seconds and then you were like, okay, Rook A7. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm assuming the only move here for Magnus is to play Knight D5. Very, very common actually also in the Catalan to block mm-hmm. the Bishop. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hikaru, where does Dubov come up with this stuff? H5, Rook H4. Like I, I've what? looked at H4 not in this specific line, but in similar Catalan lines where you gambit a pawn. So it's not unknown. It might not be known in this position, but it's not. It's it's a known theme or a known idea. I think. I mean, I don't know who exactly he works with, but I, I know in the past I think he's he's worked with Moro, who was also a very Morozovich. I mean Alexander mm-hmm. Morozovich was a very creative Russian right. player as well. So. Um, I think, you know, I, th- I think it's just being around some of those, uh, some of those Russian, those, those like very creative Russian players. Um, also, I, I, I just want to just touch on this point as a, as, as a, as something parting. When we, when we talk about these issues, yeah, we don't, we don't need foot soldiers. We don't need people to, to go and swarm and brigade. Like we want to try to stay away from that kind of stuff. And it's difficult because people want to, you know, people are frustrated. They get mad They and, and they're... You know, there are 10 characters of a username, potentially, and, and, and they don't have any repercussion. But the thing is, if, if a community goes somewhere and then does something, it, it doesn't look good here, too. So if we want to take the high road, take the high road with us. Mm-hmm. You know, don't go out here doing that stuff. Um, yeah, agreed. Agreed. Anyway. Um, yeah, so Rook a- anyway, Rook G4 looks like a good move. I mean, I think, you know, I think there's a common theme when you're playing rapid and blitz, what's really important um, is the initiative or the attack. And in this situation, when you're on the offensive and you're attacking, the moves and the ideas are much easier to see. Like for Danilo, he sees like G7 is weak. You have the knight on E5. So maybe E4, rook F4, queen F4, some idea or something on diagonal, but it's very limited ideas. Whereas for black, the moves are not obvious. So you're going to have to burn a lot of time trying to find the right setup here. And that's why, especially in Rapid and Blitz, um, if you get the attack, even if maybe objectively you're not winning, but you're on, on the attack, it's much harder for your opponent to defend than it is for you to play these attacking ideas. Hey, after King F8, which looks, it's, it's a, I mean, it, it doesn't look It's terrible. the best move, I assume. Oh, wait, no, but then you can take on D5 and go Rook F4. Rook F4. I, I even thought Rook F4 immediately and then Queen F4 mm-hmm. with Knight G6. So... If that I'm, gonna means... bold, I'm gonna make a bold prediction. I'm gonna make a mm-hmm. bold prediction. Magnus um, wins. I, th- I think Magnus. <laughs> is gonna lose this. No, I think Magnus is gonna lose this game and he's gonna be eliminated from the event. That's wow. My prediction. I just wow. I don't I don't I don't like the texture. I mean, okay, sorry. I say texture. That doesn't mean anything. But I don't I don't really <laughs> like the I don't like the sort of the way the position is. Like it's a very tough position to play for black, and I don't think Magnus is gonna be able to defend this. I mean, without using a lot of time, and then I think there's going to be a blunder somewhere later towards the end. Um, if he ends up losing it, Hikaru, will he be called a loser? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> good one. <laughs> good one, yeah. <laughs> good one. Good one. Rook to G8, that does protect the G7 pawn, but it looks so unpleasant. It means that Magnus will not be able to castle ever. Yeah, right. Rook G8 is an ugly necessity. Oh my god, that is a terrible move to have to play but it I'm might have been the... can, can, can white play as something very sneaky like queen b1 or queen c2 with queen h7 yeah i'm trying to 
the thing is, at the end of the day, Black can play C3. There's a moment Black will play C3, right? Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I that's his queen. counterplay, the C pa the pass pawn. So, so let's run that. Let's see. So if you go Queen B1 here, mm -hmm. if pawn to C3, you can just take. So if pawn takes pawn, there's Queen B5 check and Rook B7. Right. So if you can't go C3 right away, then what is your move exactly? Like, th this is the thing. Like, there's so many ideas for white here, but for F5? black, it's very hard. F5 yeah, but then rook G6. Yeah. And then your knight is planted on the outpost on E5. The threat of queen H7, there's king F8 there. Mm -hmm. So we need mm -hmm. something else, right? Like, you're going to play E4, and then, well, then knight F6. Well, what I was thinking is if you can get the queen to H7, then you can take on D5 and go rook F4. That oh, so the my, threat the threat is to maybe take on d5 first and then go queen h7 and then there's mm -hmm. also yeah it feels like it feels like there's something here it really does feel like there's something hmm. but but we'll see we'll see rajabov and nepo just very briefly okay that's just a draw so rajab Ra rajabov's up right e uh yes right Yes, he won. Yes. He's yeah, I was, up, uh... I was, I was, I was going to add something. You, you know, it's interesting. Like, I sort of, I've had this renaissance in this age, this age of online tournaments. I was thinking, like, Tamer, he, he was very unlucky against Wesley. He, ve he very easily could have won that match, um, and he didn't end up winning. Uh, queen c2 is wrong because of b3, isn't it? Because now queen h7, there's knight f6. You gave him this extra pawn push, so the pawn's one square closer to the end of the board. Um, but, 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 but what I was going to say is, um, what I was going to say is that it feels like he was someone who got very good at a very young age. Um, like he beat Gary Kasparov and uh, Kasparov, to use his phrase, Kasparov was a very bad loser when he lost to Tamor in this Linares turn. Tamor was 15 years old. And when Gary lost the game, the closing ceremony, they, they award the best game prize to Tamor for that victory over Gary. And Gary basically took the stage and um, he went on around. He's like, this was a terrible game. He got lucky. I, I never should have lost the game. Um, so just to give you guys a little bit of lore, um, there you guys go. So, so yeah, yeah, he did the the OG Kanye. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he, 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 I, I think he got upset something, then he left. Also, he was he 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 got up and uh -oh. left too. Um, I didn't know about this story. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh well. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah this so is a well known story. Very very well known. Um, and of course, I mean, they were going to give it to the best game to Tamor because I mean, he was like I think fifteen or sixteen years old. He had just beaten Gary Kasparov. Uh, it was one of like the only losses I think Gary had with White um, during his career, during from when he became world champion. One of the very few losses with the White pieces um, that he had. So, so yeah, of course, of course, uh, of course, Gary was going to get the um, get get angry about about that game. But yeah, so as I was saying about Timur, he he got very good very young, mm -hmm. um, but it felt like kind of in the last couple of years he he start, sort of started relaxing, enjoying life more, and um, he wasn't. He wasn't as serious about chess, and it feels like he got a little bit unlucky against Wesley, but he's playing very well against Jan today. So I feel like he's been having a bit of a renaissance, and he's, he's started playing great chess again, which is amazing to see because he's someone that I've known for a long time. I mean, I, I feel like I, I knew of him from the time we were kids, like 10, 11 years old. He even played my brother in one of the World Youth Chess Championships in 96. So uh, just someone where it's, it's really great to see him doing well. I remember those youth championships. I guess they, I... Hikaru and I are from from the same generation. Levi uh, pretends he belongs to our generation, but that's just the facial hair. He's a lot younger. <laughs> but Rajabov is uh, oh, was also <laughs> born in 1987. Oh, just mm -hmm. uh, it's okay, Levi. You look like 40. Anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> that's not a compliment. <laughs> yeah. I, I... <laughs> I was just thinking that Rajabov is the exact same generation as Hikaru and I. From the, uh, he was born in the same year, and I remember him at the under ten, under twelve categories. That he was always like one of the favorites for the World Youth Championships, mm -hmm. and he was the feared opponent of everyone. Right, right, yeah. There, there were. I mean, him and also the other. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away. But I think Tamur and also Vugar Gashmov, both yeah. of them were very strong as junior players. Very and, true. Um, yes. Top, top, basically, the top top two juniors uh, in the world at various points. Okay, I'm just getting word of when we will do the next giveaway. Uh, the Ooh, original giveaway play time soon. Yes. Can I uh, tell the viewers what is at stake this time? Okay. 
before we actually head over to the giveaway. Because this, guys, if you thought you're unlucky because you haven't won the previous graphics card, well, we have another one. We have another one, and this time it's the 3090. Yes, the RTX 3090 and another board signed by Hikaru. The stakes are just getting higher and higher. Why can I not have the graphics card, guys? Could we just like make an alt account for me and I win? We can I I, I think if you I think if you ask nicely. <laughs> they'll just, they'll, no, they'll, but... the viewers deserve it. The viewers deserve it. So the same plan as always, my friends. Uh, I will pull up uh, another clip uh, that uh, that was sent to us by Care, uh, and then we will open up the giveaway either in the middle of the clip or uh, or or right after it. Uh, we do we do want to fit in at least two more giveaways. We plan for there to be uh, five of them and mm -hmm. this is going to be the fourth wow. one and we might yeah. not have tie breaks today in any of these matchups so we just want to make sure that, that we get everything all right mm -hmm. video's coming up and then we will begin the video uh the giveaway I really love these clips. And the car was gone. What? Oh, wait. We lost the car. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. What oh happened? my goodness. It was it was a feels good clip, and it was a magic trick. Your car, your car disappeared. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh I'm yeah. Back, I'm back. Oh, wait, you <sighs> scared us for a second. You you scared us for a second because this was also wholesome. The dreams of each and every little girl and young women uh, that are also being supported by care because it's also, of course, about equality, about gender rights, about making sure that these young girls and women have the same <laughs> opportunities. Um, mm -hmm. I think our giveaway has started, though, Levy. Yep. That means that from now on, this time, the next 10 minutes is when you should participate. Yep. So look at the timer. That's all the time you have left if you want to win our RTX uh, 3090. This time, the 3090 and the board signed by Hikaru. You need to donate within this time period of 10 minutes. That's what counts for this giveaway. Remember, if you donate below $25, that gives you one ticket per dollar. If it's above $25, it's two tickets per dollar. Make sure to donate within the next nine minutes. Yep, 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 yep. Hikaru had said that at the 200k mark, he would be uh, he would be streaming, and I mean unofficially mm -hmm. we hit it. Officially we have to hit it in in about oh we are gonna right. hit it in like 10 seconds. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. By the way, the, the game is getting stranger and stranger. I feel yeah, like, uh, somehow. Black has two pass pawns, and I mean I think I think White's okay here, but I feel like it, it feels like the Dubov has gone wrong because even though he's doing fine. There isn't the same attack or initiative. The ideas are not as clear anymore. Magnus now is the one with a very clear idea of trying to push a pawn to C1 or B1 here. This is uh, this is amazing. We just crossed officially the 200,000 mark. It's nice. not popping up on the big screen, but I see it in the dashboard. We are now mm -hmm. at 200 and... Oh my God, we're at 203,000. What? <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for wow. contributing. This is insane. Hikaru will be streaming. Hikaru will be streaming. It's official. You guys made it happen. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, I did not. I, I did not expect us to raise two hundred thousand dollars. Even when I saw the hundred k, I was like, okay, you know, we could we could see what we can do. Wow. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's just amazing to see the support. Um, I mean, I've seen many, many, many different streamers do do charity uh, charity streams, and just to see the support from the Twitch community as a whole has been been incredible. Um, and it's all all for a good cause. It's fantastic. So big shout out to you guys, the chat. You guys are amazing. 
this community is absolutely mind blowing. And there's still seven and a half minutes left, guys. That's the time you have left in order to win the graphics card and the board signed by Hikaru. Mm -hmm. Already crossed two hundred and ten thousand dollars. Amazing. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. By the way, I think many of you have been asking about the format of the event because we, of course, are here to cover the Champions Tour mm -hmm. and this event. Um, as for Hikaru, yes, unfortunately, whoa, today's... Whoa, 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 what is We're Knight gonna C5? tell you about the format later. <laughs> what is Knight C5? Does Rook take C5? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he wants to go for C6. He wants to get really sneaky. But I think Black's King is safe here. He wants to go Rook C5, D C5. Knight g4, c6, but you just take, and then after rook c3, queen b6, and you win. Oh, because of f2. Ah. Yeah. Oh, he missed that. I think he must have just missed queen b6. Oh, wow. 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 That is, yeah, that is, un that is, that is wild. Uh, That's unbelievable. I can't believe he did that. Nerves? Or just miscalculation. I mean, I, guess. I mean, I just yeah, I just don't know how you play that. At the end of it, there's queen b6, and the knight is on g4. But that's a that's an instructive moment for the, for for the chat uh, visualizing this. It's, it's not easy mm -hmm. seeing how it all changes, and then f2 is going to be weak. See, your brain immediately was like b6 because knight on g4, f2 is weak. Like right, and uh, it looks good. It looks c6 looks good, but well, Magnus has to find it. But with three I minutes... I mean, he's, he's going to find it with three minutes. And, and the problem is it's so obvious. There are no other moves here. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't really move the queen here. You have to take the knight. There's literally no other move. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of shocking. I just want to say uh, we are nearing 230,000. Wow. That's absolutely crazy. And you guys still have time. Look, there's still time left to donate. Five and a half minutes left if you want a chance to win a graphics card and a board signed by Hikaru. Those of you who have one already, by the way, you will be contacted by email. You don't need to do anything. Just wait for your email in the upcoming days. Yeah, whatever you donated with, uh, the the system has selected you. You, you submitted all your information. Hopefully you submitted the right information because that is how you would get drawn. Five minutes to go. Enter the giveaway. 3090 nice. graphics card and a sign board. I've been looking at the word signed all day. Mm -hmm. And now it, start, it, it, now it starts looking incorrect. There's a term for that. When you look at a word too much and it starts looking wrong. Like True. Yeah, it ha it's happening to me too. Because I've been staring at that as well. But I'm also staring at the part where it says that you can enter for free as well. So those of you who cannot afford to donate, make sure that you also click on the link because there is a way to enter for free. We want everyone to be part of this. Uh, the higher the donation, the more tickets you get, but you can also enter for free and you may get lucky and get the graphics card. Somebody wants Hikaru to sign the graphics card too. <laughs> oh, interesting. It's gonna, it's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna go up uh, for for auction. Yeah, it. Uh, Dubov. I just. I'm shocked that he did. I don't know what he saw, because the problem is black can do it two ways. After c6, you can take and go queen b6, or just queen b6 right away. Like, I just. I don't know how you play that. Maybe he just forgot rook c5 was a move. I'm Would just, that I'm, be possible so that it was a momentary blind spot? Knight c5 and he didn't see the capture, which is very strange. I mean, it's it's possible, but it's, I mean, your rook is hanging. Like, the first thing you see is your rook is under attack. So it's very hard to believe that, I, I mean, I think he thought he could just go c6 and rook c3. I think he just saw c6, queen c6, rook c3. But the, even after queen c6, there's still queen b6. Maybe, I mean, maybe he just missed that the queen can go to the b6 square. That That's a fair point. Um, right. Right. But still, I mean, still, it's so shaky to play that move. Like, it's just so shaky. Because if you're right, you're, you're winning. But if you're wrong, you're just dead lost. And he is just wrong. So he just loses now. Yeah, that's crazy. It's shocking. Just when we thought that Dubov has the upper hand, and he did have uh, the upper hand. Knight c5 was a, a huge blunder. This is uh, shocking. I'm a little bit disappointed because now... now... It, it comes down to the fourth rapid game, and Magnus has white. Of course, right, du exactly, yeah. Do do well. He hasn't won yet, but also Dubov with black can now is Bru is is Dubov prone to to a tilt? Because I don't know. I I can't um, tell. He I seems... would say I would say yes. He is definitely prone to tilting. I I mean I can say that just from having my matches against him. I think he definitely is prone to tilting. Okay. Uh, you can play e3, guys, but the point is that black is safe. Like, black yeah, is up I, a knight. 
I don't know why Magnus did this. I thought Queen B6 right away was a little bit safer to guarantee the win. Um, it's still winning, but I think you have to find King E7 and King F6, I think. But it's still, it's still a little bit, little bit iffy here. I mean, he he has to find it because it's the only move, obviously. Um, although maybe he can go Knight F6 too. Not sure. Um, so but, there are still yeah. a few tricks in the position, but overall, this was a huge blunder by Dubov and Magnus Carlsen with the piece up. Uh, it's looking like Magnus will win the game and mm -hmm. bounce back. You guys still have two minutes, though, only two minutes to participate in the giveaway. So that's our final warning that time yep. is ticking. Two minutes left if you want to win our RTX 3090 and the sign boy, bar sign boy, not the board. Boy, by sign boy. <laughs> I hope you know okay. sign boys. <laughs> can, or I, can I choose my boy? Or <laughs> <laughs> or men and women, please don't sign them. Hikaru. Although I, I've seen concerts, I've seen concerts. Well, you, 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 want, you want you want to sign them to a to a to a deal with an esports organization. That, right. Yeah, yes. that, that yes. signing is fine. I was thinking about the perma marker on some <laughs> foreheads and arms and such. Yeah, when Hikaru yeah. arrives at airports now, he has to give away uh, ten minutes to you know just signing you know things, and he and, and and then he strolls through. But he gets to keep the pen. It's always a fancy pen. It's like a, <laughs> uh, that's how you know you've you've uh, you've made it. I I was told that the the analogy that we can make to how much you guys are donating and freezing the website is something equivalent <laughs> to a, a One Direction concert. Oh, uh, when well, <laughs> one, is One Direction still make music as a group or no? I think I not. No I think it's Harry Styles mainly uh, with his solo career, and I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. I only I only am following Harry Styles <laughs> for is, obvious yeah. reasons. Is, is there a trick here, maybe with some like Rook D6 and Queen D4? I'm trying to find some. I mean, I guess the king just goes to G5 and it's safe, but I still feel like there is potential for a blunder here. Actually, the more I look at this, like maybe you go Queen Eight. I mean, it's it's very. It should be winning. Probably queen a8 is best here. But I think it's still you have to be a little bit careful here with black. Yeah, you'd love to teleport to f3. It just takes too long. Uh, queen d4, king e7, king e8 is what you want to just hide the king? Oh, really? Cause, oh, yeah, because king g5, there's queen f4, and then queen takes f7. Yeah, I mean, this is this is losing, but it's 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 not it's not clean. It's This is not clean at all for um for Magnus. Right, because he has to hide his king. Like this is winning because he has to get hide his king. Right, and then, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then and then he wins. But it's, and while I mean, we uh, while we keep analyzing, let me just announce the uh, winner of our graphics card, the the graphics card and the sign board that goes to Twitch Spain. Thank you so much for participating, everyone. The winner for this giveaway is Twitch Spain. Wow, the, we we've Man. officially <laughs> served. That's a good one. <laughs> we've uh, we've passed our original goal by 2.5x. So the original goal of 100,000, we have now surpassed $250,000 raised for charity. Can we make Amazing. it to 300K? Can we do that? This we community is capable hour. of we everything. Hour. We have yeah. another hour. You we never know. No, we definitely, we definitely can. I'm pretty confident. Um, you know the cool thing is? I recognize some of the people that won the raffle. Oh, Magnus blundered! He's losing! What, again, he's is he stepping into mate again like he there's did in queen, the previous oh, game? Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Let's let's try to re reason this out like humans. Why is this losing? <laughs> Apparently, F three again. The F four, oh, the MVP, the F. F3. It was the F three pawn in the previous game too, where the oh, Dubov no. won. The same pawn, the same is MVP gonna see pawn. It? Oh, oh my waited. God, this is it. Oh, we are going to get a reaction now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get your scissors out. We are going clipping. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Reve well, hold on. Hold on. The game's not over. But uh... no, I mean, but the problem is, I mean, but the problem is what does Magnus even play? His king is getting mated. Like you don't even have moves. Like you can't move the knight. You can only play f5. It's the only move. And then after fg4, you're still getting checkmated. No, but this, this is, is unbelievable. But th this is crazy. I actually, I said... It's it's crazy when I say this because you've the you know you guys are the ones that that play Magnus. I feel like and and you have you have said this as well over the past like few months. It seems when you just go attacking, no respect, just mix it up. That's the mm -hmm. best chance to beat him. 
And yes, I tend to agree. But I would say the thing with Magnus that's weird is he, by the way, queen off four, queen takes off five is checkmate too, which is why. This oh is my God. Queen off four, queen Ooh, takes off five. Move. Queen it's made four. checkmate to the board. Magnus oh Carlsen is eliminated. God. Oh my, what just happened? <laughs> what just wow. happened? That's mate. That is mate. Yep, game over. Game over yep. and match over. The world champion is being eliminated by Russian Grandmaster Daniel Dubov. Dubov had the upper hand, then he blundered, and then Magnus blundered back. A very similar pattern that what he blundered in the first game that his king uh, got into trouble. And again, this F pawn. What a hero! What a hero of the mm -hmm. story, the F pawn. Yeah, we we do have a scoreboard that I that I have now updated. Uh, Dubov has won. He has yep. won, and maybe we can. That 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 is that is not what I expected to happen when I sat down today. Um, I mean, I think there was always potential for that, but I, I think this is one thing that that is weird. Um, in regards to Magnus, it feels like instead of playing his traditional like game, it feels like more and more he's trying to experiment. It feels like whether it's against like Daniil, whether it's against Wesley, and he's going further and further outside of his um his comfort zone, and and I think it kind it kind of shows in in the results as well. So it's a little bit perplexing to me because it feels like in a way he's um he's taking a lot of risks that he. Normally, I don't think would, but we're, we're probably going to see a clip, I think. Is there a clip or something? <laughs> it's probably a clip, right? Yeah, we can, we, 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 we can watch. Give me, give me a sec. I've got a lot of things open today. All right, let's, 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 let's get a clip here. Uh, we have um, no other games, and the next games will begin between Wesley and Rajabov. Well, uh, between Wesley and MVL and Rajabov and Nepo in a moment. But, mm -hmm. exactly, of course, yep. we have to... Uh, now. We will we will pull this up and we will watch a clip together as a community. That's just the, the the last thing that I had loaded was a clip named Hikaru is a loser. That's a, that's a bait clip, but it it turned out not to be such such bait. I mean, my goodness. Uh, now Magnus has advanced the pawn, but I think it's all over. Yeah, and actually we had this scenario yesterday with Magnus, his king, being attacked by a queen and a rook. The black king is not safe. Magnus Carlsen also only with 20 seconds. It's going to be checkmate. It's checkmate, it's checkmate on the board. And that's it. He's oh, look oh, at this. Daniel Dubov. His hands in the air. He has beaten the world champion after three games in the second quarter. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Definitely unexpected. Yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. So if you... I mean, there's so much I could say. <laughs> Hikaru, <Yeah>. your thoughts? <laughs> well, I mean, what what to say? Like, uh, yeah, uh, we'll we'll see what what Chess Twenty Four has to say about has to say about Magnus. Um, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Maybe he has to play a fourth game just out of. Well, no, no, I I, I, I know, I, I know, play, of course not. No, no, yeah. I, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. That would be a huge punishment. Um, but yeah, we shall see what happens with those details of the contract. As you pointed out, Hikaru does. But, how? Why are they changing well, certain? I, mean, I, I think I think yeah. they have to decide. Like either you play, or it's it's just or it's just just over. I think they just have to decide. But I mean, I think yeah. on the fly, they, there should not be these changes. Is what I would say. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, it's a crazy day. I mean, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that it's like a total surprise to me that Magnus lost this because, like, I, I feel like. He's, he did this against Wesley, too, where I think when they played in the final, he had the lead on the first day, right? And then he had so, he walked in the checkmate in five, right? Yeah. And, and, the, and then, then the match was a tie, and then they played the second day. And I feel like against Anil, it was the same thing. He was ahead by um, – he, he, didn't he win, like, the second game? He, he won one of the games yesterday with black against Anil, and then he lost with white, and then the match was drawn. Um, and and like that's that's kind of the, kind of the thing is I feel like when he's gotten the lead somehow they've inevitably sw slipped away so I'm not super shocked that that Magnus lost the way that he lost this match however I'm very surprised by it because he was completely winning this game um, so it's very uh, very surprising but you know I, I think it shows that there is a lot of parity in chess and that's that's kind of why you know when people make the the typical joke about how there hasn't been a patch in like 1500 years the reason for that is because when you see players play against each other it's still very balanced and very equal. Guys, I, uh, I, can I leave you for a few minutes just to use the restroom? Uh, we, sure, we're going to take a break? I, sure. I don't... Okay.
You guys want to hang out and talk, or should you guys all want to go for a short break? I'm gonna go for a short break and make some caffeine. If we have, have time too. for a break, um, oh, I think we do. That would be great. I think we all need a bathroom okay. break. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's take a quick break. I'll put on some music, and I'll see you. And we will see you we'll guys be in, back a in a second. Moment. It's gonna be exciting, obviously, in terms of what happens. I think for Dubov, he's he's looking really, really good. Um, because he's probably going to play the winner of Nepo and, and Rajabov. And actually, Nepo's in trouble, right? Is he in a must-win in this last game? Nepo has to win to, to save it right. and force a blitz playoff, yes. Right. So, I mean, it's going to be very, very difficult um, for Jan. And he has white or black, sorry. I, I don't know. I don't know the setup exactly. I actually also don't know. Uh, he has uh, Nepo's white in the final round. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so he's white, a must-win game, going to be very exciting. Uh, we have um, we have Maxime who is behind, right? Today, Maxime is behind today. Yes. Yeah, so he's behind, but I I actually know I think Maxime is still the favorite. I was thinking about this yesterday. The reason that it was so huge that he won is because I think in Blitz he is the favorite against Wesley based on his performances against Magnus and against and against me. So I think that um that that it's going to be very. Interesting to see the tie. I mean, I assume there's going to be a tiebreaker there, but uh, we'll see. At any rate, though, I do want to give a big shout again to everybody who's donated. We've raised, uh, I'm looking at the stream as well, so maybe the number has changed, but $251,000 for charity. So it's been been amazing, you guys. Thank you so much um, for supporting a great cause. Yeah, this is amazing. Uh, we, um, we also should announce that we're not going to do it now, but we, we will have another giveaway. So... Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for that. Uh, Absolutely. For and a reminder that the, the donations in between giveaways matter too for the final, final giveaway, the five boards signed by Hikaru. So if you donate $25 or more in between giveaways or during, at any point of the broadcast, basically, then you will be eligible for the final giveaway for the chess boards with Hikaru's signature. As we know, priceless. The value, that's absolutely priceless. Actually, that's not not completely true. It'll be <laughs> like like many things, unfortunately, it only becomes priceless once I once I don't exist. Oh no, I, I didn't mean that. <laughs> I meant I meant ah. it's so valuable like that art. we can't put the number on it. Sorry, I didn't mean to make it sound like that. That was bad. That was bad. I didn't I didn't mean that. I I meant it's it's very significant the value of it. We cannot express it in numbers. No, I, no, I, you know, the reason I bring that up is because uh, many years ago, my, my stepfather knew, knew a lady who worked for the New York Rangers organization, and um, she was actually able to get the assigned Wayne Gretzky jersey for, for my brother and I, and, um, and so Wayne Gretzky, of course, being, I assume you know who he is, Anna, um, but he was like the, gr the greatest hockey player of all time. Yeah. And, um, and I, I think I looked like maybe a couple of years back to see what the jersey was worth, and it was like $200. It's like worth nothing, even though he's the greatest player of all time. It's like, well, there's aren't there a lot of artists that their their paintings were like, eh, and then if if it's like two hundred years later, all of a sudden everybody wants it, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. by the way, is there an echo on my microphone? No. Um, no? I don't think well, so. I'll be right back. Oh, Levy, what the, uh... have I missed until I was gone? I I I must admit I I've had um, a cereal bar because I was too hungry. You admitting to eating? Yes. Because it's all about that's like, disgusting, Anna. Why would you ever? Yeah, I know. Because we said we go on a bathroom break, but then I was like, I'm also very hungry. But because I had dental issues, I need to brush my teeth and then apply lipstick, so it takes me forever to make it back. I apologize, but I'm here. Is this a foot reveal? <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, is it, we hit the jackpot. We got. We got. We got. Wait, two... I didn't see. I, I I I missed that moment. Now I'm now I see what's happening. This beautiful stuff. Um. Yeah, looks like uh, this is the, uh, hey, this week we got Magnus on the beach showing his feet. Right, we got right back. Yep. Yes, Have I are. missed something? Is I'm there back. another donation goal that I didn't know of? Why can it's I hear a... you guys? You cannot hear One us? One second, I can't hear you. One second. Oh. I'm wearing socks, just in case anyone <laughs> was curious. I I'm in socks and slippers. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Slipper gang here. <laughs> <laughs> it's too I cold in my how is he gonna walk around barefoot what the hell how's that even what oh, oh we're here. back oh we're back okay sorry we're back sorry i okay. was just curious i was curious sorry um if i missed uh-huh let me go ahead let me go ahead uh, we uh chat is very excited they saw your feet 
<laughs> oh, it's, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was just curious if I missed the new donation goal and that will be a Hikaru yoga stream. Is that what's happening? <laughs> Uh, no, no. I mean, I think the thing is because I have like wooden floors in here, if I don't have like enough furniture, I don't have enough stuff. Basically oh. there's an echo on my microphone. And I realize even if it's not really perceptible to most people right now, when I do stream, it will become perceptible. So that's why I put, put this down. Yeah. Big oh. empty room with, uh, with high ceilings is a nightmare. Um, mm -hmm. exactly. I've had, to, yep. I've had to pad my walls. It's actually, it hurt my ears here for a while. Like, <laughs> to, like Oof. even talking, I'm, I'm loud. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So, so, okay. So, uh, Tamor is playing the King's Indian. I, 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 he's, he's doing the Daniil approach where he's not being, he's not sitting back and being passive. He's going after Jan in a, in a game where he doesn't actually need to win. He only needs to draw. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this game progresses because Jan is not a traditional D4 player either. Um, mm -hmm. so this is going to be exciting. And this actually, you know what you guys, uh, Timur, when he covered my game, one of my tiebreaker games against Magnus, um, uh, uh, he, he was watching on his YouTube stream with Anish and a few other people. And he said he, he, he flipped the board because he's such a Kings Indian fan. So I'm going to say we do the same thing as, as someone who's a big <laughs> lover of the Kings Indian light team or please flip the board. Love it. We got to look at it from the black perspective. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. As he is requesting, you guys all should do the same. If you open the board separately, flip the board. So what, uh, what are we, what are we looking at here? Uh, so, I mean, I think the first thing is the knight on a6 is a little bit out of play, potentially. If white can get a3, b4, c5, um, the knight looks really bad on, on the edge. Um, knight f6 is a move. To bring the knight back. Now, uh, the surprising thing that many people might not realize about the king's Indian is the most important piece is the bishop on c8, right? Because without it, mm -hmm. oftentimes, which is not so clear, because in many positions it doesn't move. You just keep it there. Yeah, uh, yeah, anyway. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, but by the way, you guys, I do still play the Kings Indian sometimes as well. But I think, you know, in this modern age of preparation, there's so many variations where it goes to like move 30 or move 35 that it becomes really difficult to, um, to play it consistently. You just have to pick, pick here and there and play, uh, play it, you know, when, when you want to. Here comes G5, but uh, Rajabov doesn't have to win this game. He just has to not lose it. And no, but I, I I like the style though because Jan's not a traditional D four player, so I really like the idea of going after him here. I'm I, I really do like this. I think it's great. So what now from Nepo? Is he going to take on G four? I'm oh no 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 no. Um, if you take then takes Bishop G three H five looks really bad. I think you have to go Bishop G three or E takes F five, but I don't know the difference in the order because if you take on F five first, I go Knight F six, Bishop G three, Bishop takes F five. Mm. Um, if you go bishop g3, I assume Timur still goes knight f6, and if white takes on f5, it's the same thing. But white can maybe play f3 there, and then f4, bishop f2, h5, and the pawn avalanche, but I don't uh -huh. really know what's going on. I was going to say you could... Uh, in many positions, white does take on f5 and put something on e4. Isn't that also like another way to, mm -hmm. to do this? Yes, exactly, yeah. There's a there's a there's a few here. So he does go bishop g3. Mm -hmm. So I assume you play knight f6 or h5, but h5 looks a little bit too. It feel it doesn't feel right to me. Mm -hmm. I I mean knight f6 seems like the move, but the but what I'm not sure of is if white goes f3, what's going on here? Because f3 f4 bishop f2, you go like queen g6 and g4 the pawn avalanche, but your knight is on the wrong side. Normally the knight's on e7, not a6. So it looks, I'm not sure. It looks a little bit weird. Oh, that's really interesting. So you would, uh, you would have difficulty pushing just where your knight is. Actually, th th what is, you don't have difficulty push pushing, but you don't, but the thing is when you go F, so like Levy, can you play F3 on the board? Back yeah, it's there. Played. Okay. So the thing is after F4, Bishop F2, let's just say you go Queen G6 mm -hmm. um, and, and something like this, or H, just H5, for example. The problem okay. is after you go G4, there's a Bishop H4 move, I think. And okay. your knight is on the your knight's on the wrong side of the board. Normally, your knight would be on g six to stop this. So then, can you add layers like h four, knight h five, knight g three? I don't know. I'm just looking at some crazy stuff. No, um, if you go h four, then white plays h three, bishop f one, rookie one, bishop f one, and I just I have this very comfy nest mm, around my king, and I, I got can it. sleep very peacefully. Okay, well he's doing it. He's playing queen g six, so mm -hmm. he's doing he's he's delaying. I, I think these positions are just impossible to play with white if you're uh, not 
this level. I mean, I, mean I, I kind of agree, yeah, because you're just going to get Storm. The, there's just, you know, the, the standard roll-up on the king side. Black's going to get to connect five, pawn a G3, and win the game. It's it's really rare, though, that um, that a, uh, th you get a position like this if you actually try to play a King's Indian at, like, mm -hmm. the 1500 level, for example, because no one plays into this. They play all sorts of random stuff, and this almost never happens. So, mm -hmm. uh, Right, agreed, yeah. How do you see this opening choice, Hikaru, for the match situation, the Pamya Shina must win situation? Who do you think is happier here? I mean, I think a lot depends on what the position that occurs. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that, that Jan played D4. To me, that seems surprising against Tamur uh, because Jan is more of a traditional E4 player. He plays C4 on the first move, and D4, I think, is a little bit drier. But I, I, I also will say I kind of love Tamur. I haven't followed the match, so I don't know exactly what the opening choice have been. But I really love the fact that Timur is playing the King's Indian here because I think that um, I think that uh, that Jan is really kind of hoping for like a more dry Queen's 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 in, Queen's uh, Queen's Gambit sorry Queen's Gambit defense as opposed to this. So I really love the choice by Timur, and it's it's working out very well because the position in a rapid game is much harder to play for White here than for Black. Hmm. Also, you guys, uh, can we go to the Maxime's game because somebody said that Maxime is actually better against Wesley. Yeah, is it was uh, anti-Berlin, and it, it turned into... He mm -hmm. played a very a early D4. Didn't you do this too, or am I crazy? Very early D4. Um, I might have done it. I think Anon... Was it Anon or Geary? Someone else has done this too. Um, although, why is this so bad for Black? I don't understand. I was going to ask oh, you. Oh, so. you can take and castle. Oh, maybe you just take on E5 and castle. So Black can't castle, right? So Black can't go long. Right. And short. You meant I long, right? I don't know. Levy, you have the engine open, so you can tell me what what's the right move here. <laughs> That's ex it's, exa line. it's exactly what you said. It's knight takes bishop. And knight, knight takes bishop long. and long castle. Yeah. Okay, it is okay. Yeah, because the problem is this is why in in these um actually in this these Berlins you get these double juicers on or double pawns are on c seven and c six, and um like if white takes on e five you take with the pawn the pawn on e five is always weak you can't if you could scoot that pawn from c six to d six. The pawns are very uh, doing very well, but you can't scoot it over, so the pawn on e5 is always weak. Right. Yep. Makes sense. Well, in pawn sideways variant, that would actually be a position you can play c6 to d6. <laughs> pawn <laughs> sideways true. is weird, man. You need to fix your structure. Yeah, but you go pawn to d6, and I go pawn e4 to d4, and you resign. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, this is a weird. What is that? We just got a got a big big wave of donations there. Um, oh wow! So many. Whoa, whoa! Big shout out to Bodhi for the two thousand. I think that was just now, right? The two thousand dollar donation. Yeah, whole, yeah. Thanks a lot, Bodhi. Wow. Shout out to Bodhi. That's what the... I said. I was like, it jumped up. <laughs> I like it skyrocketed. Oh my goodness! Yo, Bodhi. Uh, we he and I did a chess lesson, and he's actually he got to a thousand in like a week playing chess. It was insane. Whoa. Nice. I yeah, didn't I know it was after a week. He also wow. has one of the greatest uh, emotes I've ever seen. The the one that ends in giggle. Uh, I, I don't know the first part. It's X zero something. Oh, but... I think I yeah. I don't have it enabled, but I I, I know I've I no know you do I've, uh, you I do, do have it enabled. Oh. It's it's so funny. <laughs> I don't see it. Where where is it? Did someone write in the chat yet? I yeah. Can, where is it? It's the it's the really. Uh, oh, interesting... oh oh oh. Oh, I see. It's like the. It's oh, like the it's okay, so I cute. Okay. <laughs> I don't think. That's I don't brilliant. think it's supposed to be cute. I, I think it's supposed. Oh, I to... find it. I find it cute. Apologies. I um. Both. It's not cute at all. It's. It's like. It's so manly. It's not cute. <laughs> no. I. I. Yeah. Well. I think it's an indication of like. You know, when you get backseated. That's what. That's what you. I see. <laughs> yeah. For me, everything is cute. That's how I see the world in pink. <laughs> oh man. No, it's been a good wow. day. Shout out to Bodhi and. Uh, Someone, someone, I really a... like. I really like what's going on though in these games. They they could be drier, but they look really tense, and they're going to be filled with drama. So I'm really happy with what we're getting in these final two games. Yeah, if MVL wins, that would be that would be wild. Well, MV, actually, MVL wins. He wins. Like it's over. Yeah, if he wins, he just wins. That's he won the yesterday. thing. Yeah. Yeah, and he he can go all in on this game because uh, a draw and a lose, a draw and a loss is the same in this game. Exactly, so exactly. he's gonna put everything on oh, this one no, card. Oh no! Oh no! caved. He played G four. I was wondering if he would do this. He's gonna get smashed. Knight H five, Knight F four. Come on, Timur, just do it. Knight H five, Knight F four, like a true King's Indian player. Come on, just do it. 
This looks really bad. Actually, why is Black not just winning after Knight H5, Knight F4 with H5 and G4, H5, H4? Come on, Timur, Knight H5. Oh, computer is trying to argue Knight H5, F4 is holding. Knight G3? Oh, Knight G3, F5? F5, yeah. Wow. That's, oh, wow. That's That's crazy. probably what he saw. That's why he went for this, but I don't know. No, I think Jan just played it because he didn't want to get attacked on the king's side. Ah. Uh. No, I mean, it's, it's oh, saying you crazy. could just go G4 and chip away with the pawns. Mm -hmm. That also makes sense here, too. Yeah, G, but Knight H5 is so thematic. We'll see. I mean, I think Timur, if he uses time here, he'll probably realize Knight H5 F4 is a move and not play it. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. G4 F4 is also hard to calculate, though. But I guess G4 F4, mm -hmm. you take, take, and G3 with Knight G4 and Queen H5. He just played Bishop D7. Is that a King's Indian move? I think that's actually a very good move. Yeah, he's just going to go Rook F7, Rook, Rook F8. Rook F7, yeah. Rook F8. I, th I think, I mean, if Jan's going to have to pull off a miracle here to to not, like, draw or lose this game. Because Black's ideas are too obvious. Rook F7, Rook F8, I mean, this is... Now I think you go H5 and you open up the king side. But doesn't this... I don't know. This looks kind of miserable. Yep. No, this is terrible for white. I mean... Like yeah. I said, it's going to require a little bit of a miracle because at some point, Black's probably going to move the knight and go rook f4 as well. But the problem for Nepomyoshe is not that he has to survive this game. He has to win it. Like right. it, it doesn't matter if he makes a draw. He's still out. Right, which is why I'm saying I, it's going to take a miracle to win this game. For oh, okay. Happen, I, I misunderstood you. I was like, he can barely hold it and, and he has to even yeah. win it. Right, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> It's uh, I, I, I don't know if this is being reported properly uh, or if people in chat are, are baiting, but I was going to say, every time Magnus gets knocked out, it's always, he had a bad day. Even Wesley said that. Wesley said in his interview, rather than, you know, being like, you know, I, I'm just happy to win, blah, blah, blah. Wesley was like, well, I got lucky. Magnus had a bad day. You know, mm -hmm. it's always Magnus had a bad day. I think right now you know, it's being I, said. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, just Magnus had a bad day today. That's what's being said. Yeah, but I mean, I think the thing is that doesn't really work the same way because it's two days. Like, I mean, I mean, this is kind of the, the thing that, that's worth noting. So at some point, like, it, it feels like people always say that, but you have to give credit where credit is due. And um, Daniil's play was unorthodox. And yes, maybe in slower games, it wouldn't work as well. But what he did put enough pressure on, um, on Magnus that Magnus cracked. And, um, and so you do have to give credit where credit is due. You can't just say it's like, um, you know, Magnus had a bad day. I mean, you have to play against him and you have to put pressure on him. And Danil did that. And, um, and that's why he won the match. Yeah, Danil plays very fun spectator chess, I, mm -hmm. I, I would say. I remember there was a game that he played in, the, in uh, the Grand Prix when he played like some wild theory and then offered Rajabov a draw and move like 13. <laughs> or Rajabov offered him a draw like he played a move and offered yeah. him a draw and Dubov took it and I was like yeah what but we don't yeah, get like that you know, you know and what I would say when people talk about this is like you know it's like I see people are talking about me whether I think I could have perform performed better later maybe I could have but you know the thing at the end of the day is like Levon played well he played well so I can say like yeah maybe I would have played better if it was later but Levon just flat out played well it's not like it's not like I can say oh you know maybe it's different something happened Lev played well he deserved to win end of story it's not about bad days like your opponent has to play well and um you know Levon played well and Daniil played well today. So um so I think that that has to be said. I'm gonna check in on MVL. Uh wow. Wesley is Oh my gosh, Wesley went for this? Oh wow, this is insane. I never would have taken this pawn on E4 because like even because you're you have you have to calculate this and hope this holds. But this looks so scary in a rapid game, especially. Like so scary. I mean, maybe it's okay, but I mean, there's like queen d2, there's f3, there are all kinds of fossils. I mean, if you can get the bishop on d4 even, I, and I really do feel like this is a very special game, this is special, not special, but this is a very good position for Maxime. It's a position that he's going to really like and feel comfortable with. Hmm. This looks very scary for Wesley. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he can play it, but it, it's like... I mean, if he if he's if he doesn't get the bishop out and get his king to safety right away, he's in trouble. And even long term, if the bishop can get to c three, there's always going to be pressure on the diagonal. I mean, yeah, like, rook, yeah. Rook, rook d four, I saw as well. I wasn't sure if it was good. Rook d four, rook f four, some bishop d four, g four. So wow. 
Yikes. Yeah, I mean, this position looks so easy to play for White. Um, but the thing, the problem here for Maxime is he has too many moves to consider. So it's not so straightforward because he has to think rook d4, f3, queen d2. I mean, altering moves look very reasonable. So you have to consider, consider um, which one to play. Yeah, he goes for queen d2. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, the problem with this, I think, is can black a queen d5 to trade? Maybe it's no good, but queen d5 is the move that I would look to play just to try to get queens off the board so my king is not vulnerable on f7 here. Yeah, everybody's trying to uh, send it into some clip, and uh, I'm seeing people in the chat write that it wasn't even a good clip, so I'm going to go with... <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, with the chat saying it was a bad, you know, generally that's what happens. A bunch of people say, here's a clip. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people uh, will be like, oh, it's an epic clip. Uh, but y'all saying it's a bad clip, so. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure about the clip, but that made me realize that they have a question of the day uh, that is a bad, what's the worst thing you've done after losing a game? Uh, I wonder if that question was from the start of the show or they just changed the topic to that. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, Interesting. <laughs> slam the laptop. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever done that. I mean, I, as, as people know, I've said this on stream as well. Like, I think I've taken a mouse and thrown, thrown it across the room. Um, but I can't. I haven't. I haven't done the laptop. I don't think. Um, no, actually, you know what? I think I have. Actually, I think the laptop. I, ha I have. I have closed my laptop really hard, but it wasn't. It wasn't chess. I think. I think I had that happen. When was that? I think I was playing. Um, I think I was actually playing competitive Fortnite like a year ago or something. I actually oh. did. Uh, I did take my computer and slam it shut, but it wasn't. It wasn't because of chess. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Actually, generally, I'll yell more from Overwatch than chess. Right. I, yeah, I'm, I, I'm the same. Yeah. If I if I die a second away from doing something I wanted to do, I'm like. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, now now on Overwatch, I've. Um, I've started like joining lobbies and being like, "Hey, hope you're all having a good evening." You know, like being very <laughs> polite. So and wholesome. Just, just seeing what happens. Yeah, like last night I had a guy like you know just yelling at me, and I was like, "Hey, man, you like chess?" Because I'm Gotham chess in there. I'm like, "You, you like chess?" He's like, no. And then I was like, "You should check out, you know, uh, check out chess. It'll calm you down. It's it's a good game." You know, I'm trying to be the the the, the Overwatch chess ambassador. Um, I'm I'm putting on the King's Indian game again. How Wrong is Nepo going to win this? It. I don't know how he wins, but I'm more, there's going to be some thematic Rook F4, like Knight H7 and Rook F4. I mean... Yeah, Rook F4 is it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not obvious, though. It's not, it's not clear-cut, and the Knight again is on the wrong square. Like, see, imagine if this Knight was on E7. You could move the Queen, go Knight G6, Knight F4, but this Knight on A6 is definitely misplaced. There's also no way to get to E7, because you would have had to de uh, develop to right. C6. C6. So is the this knight is just waiting for a turn to like go to c5 and make something happen? I mean, it Probably can't even knight go there. Knight c5 is b4, I think. Yeah. And after knight e4, knight e4, knight e4, queen c2. That's that's the problem here. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. The more I look at this, the less happy I feel about the position for white or for black. I mean, maybe you just go like c5 here and try to close the queen side. Actually, I, I wonder if that's not a reasonable idea. But you know the thing? Oh, rook h7, queen h6. That's what he wants. Hmm. Oh, very dirty. He wants rook h7, queen h6, and checkmate. I think that was a suggestion of the engine to bishop h8, and Rajabov played it. Nicely done. Uh, by the way, those of you asking about the format and what's the situation in these two matches, just a quick reminder that Timur Rajabov is leading, so all he needs is a draw. He, he has the upper hand in this game, but even with a draw, he makes it to the semifinals. While in the other match, Maxim Vashelagrav is in a must-win situation in order to avoid the tiebreak. So there could Correct. be a blitz tiebreaker if Vashir doesn't win, Wesley ties the score, and then they'll play two blitz games and perhaps an Armageddon too. Correct, yeah. By the way, though, this position is getting tricky because if Jan can get knight g3, knight f5 in, I think he's better. So he's like one move away from being better. If it's white's move and white plays knight g3, white is uh, definitely better here. So I'm a little bit worried now for teamwork. I, I mean, but I understand the idea behind rook h7, queen h6, but it doesn't actually lead to a checkmate. No, it doesn't there's just there's a the crazy thing here is white is gonna in some ways like hide the king on e1 potentially right like i 
if you do if it you the can right get way. It, yeah. If you can get it, yeah. Like yeah, if you can put the knight on f5, then you can go king f2, king e1. True. Yeah, it's it's gonna be tense. Also, I don't like the time situation here for Timur because his moves are not obvious. Like Jan has a very one clear cut idea to go knight g3, knight f5. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's go let's go to the Maxime game because that that one I think is very very tricky. Mm -hmm. Um. Sure. Because like th this one hinges on like single moves. Like if 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 uh, Wesley can get his bishop developed, he's fine. Like if he can get bishop e6, rook e8, or rook d8, he's fine. But if he doesn't get that, he, he's he's probably gonna lose. So I think it's very crit we're at the very critical moment of this game where the next move or two will decide what happens. Yeah, they both spent a lot of time on the last move. Yeah, I felt like not much has changed. A pair of moves uh, has happened: queen d2 and queen to f5. Yeah, I mean, I think Wesley's okay here. It looks like he's okay, but because how does White proceed? If I get bishop rook e8 or bishop e6 next move, where's your attack? Okay, but where is the tech? <laughs> well, because if black gets developed, black is up. Don't ironic us, Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm, no, no, no. Wesley is not a kind of guy you can ironic. <laughs> um, right. This is. Uh, it, it feels like like MVL needs like three moves, and Wesley needs two to consolidate everything. And right. It, exactly. It's, yep. It's really hard to. Get yeah, those I think three. I think Wesley's okay now. The more I look at it, it, it I don't see a clear cut idea. So yeah, so I, I think Wesley's doing well. So let's go let's go back to the other one then. Okay. Yeah, both guys here are on um kind of must win situations. Although although the difference is that Rajabov is up overall. Right. And if Nepo wins, they go to tie breaks. Right. On the other board, if MVL wins, he wins the match. Period. I was thinking, I, I was going to say, you guys, I was just thinking about something. Isn't it, sorry to cut you off, Lovey. Mm -hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how everybody who made it to the semifinals could potentially lose in the quarters today? Like, I lost, Magnus lost, Wesley, I mean, maybe he'll, he, he has the best chances, but Jan also made it to the semis, right? Where he lost to Magnus? Yeah. Mm hmm. True. Right. So, so Jan's in bad shape, too. So, potentially everybody who made the semifinals could, could lose in the quarters today from the first event. Very true. Uh, that, what a turn of events! It's not what we I, predicted. I mean, I want I want you to make the finals every time, but it is it is kind of like it, that, that might be good. I don't know if it's good or bad. Like, is it bad because more less people will show up to watch if you guys aren't in? Um, I mean, well, he will be commentating. People, people, that's I'll what I doing, heard. I'll be doing commentary, commentary <laughs> right. here, so everyone will still be watching here, of course. Right. Yes. Right. Chat. It's not about <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You will have Hikari as commentator saying. for the next days. Yeah, that actually yeah, has yeah, yeah. <laughs> that has been our plan. Uh, the plan was that every if if Hikari does get eliminated before uh, before the final, then we will alternate days like we did last time. Last time it was very brief; it was only two days of the final. But it will be right. Hikari and Anna, Hikari and myself. We will. Uh, On the bright side, though, I can finally go to sleep at eleven o'clock again and just like just pound the caffeine. Um, so <laughs> it'll be better than having to try to torture myself and fall asleep at nine o'clock and end up looking at the clock at like ten thirty and. And still not falling asleep. They, uh, this is a one off, I hope. They're not going to make this the permanent schedule. Well, I was gonna say, like, I think, I mean, I thought actually in the past they had it later because for Norwegian TV where they're broadcasting this live, I was under the impression that they, they tried to do it during prime time because it's better for the viewers. I don't know if it's holiday because the holidays are what it is. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the difference now. Um, but I, I got the sense they were trying to do it later. So it's a little bit, um, a little bit odd to me. If, if they still do it at 6 a.m. or you know 6 a.m. my okay. time because i think it, it's holiday season i think once it's not holiday season they'll probably um they'll they'll probably uh do do the events a little bit later is my guess okay yeah because this is kind of this is kind of wild and I, and i what time is it um actually a good, here's a good point i think if you look at the the time zone of the players it's very mm -hmm. rare that insanely late or insanely early there is success. It's really hard to balance because the globe is... I think the players are separated yeah. by... Well, you and someone in China are separated by 15 hours? 
Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I mean, I mean, what are you gonna do, right? Uh, yeah, you know, I was I was gonna say, um, I think that's one thing is I, I when you look at Ding Loren in particular, because he's the Chinese player who's played the most events. I think it's very telling that he has not had great performances because in most of the events he's played, he's playing at like midnight or something absolutely insane. Mm-hmm. And um, and so I think there is definitely something to be said um, said for like it making uh, making a huge difference. I wonder where is Magnus base because we have seen him posting from somewhere much warmer than Norway. And uh, some of you guys in the chat said that it could be Australia. I don't know if it was ever confirmed, but it's late in Australia right now, isn't it? So I don't know if time zone wise, that's a good choice if he's there. Yeah. By the way, why is this just back to the game for a second? Why is this winning for black? I know, I know the computer keeps saying it's really, really good, but I don't understand. Levy, uh, no, I, I'm <laughs> I was wondering uh, if we have the position, I, I but just, now I, mean, I see I don't it. Oh, is it knight h7, rook up, knight f? Oh, knight h7, knight h7, and rook f4. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's knight h7, and, and bam, rook f4. Oh, that's brutal. In fact, I think Oof. Timur will see that in a second. That's this could really be it. Rough. Could yeah, be if, if, if Timur sees knight h7, he'll definitely see rook f4. But knight h7 is such a what a well, pretty I think idea. You, you have to calculate knight g4, bishop g5, queen h7. And, and I think once you realize that you're not checkmating there, you'll play knight h7, and then you'll go rook f4. Um, How has it not been leaked where Magnus is? Is it like it, is the team like really that small? Is it like five or ten people? I guess we don't have like a chess TMZ. <laughs> we don't uh, have... there, is a, there is a chess TMZ for Magnus, and maybe the chess TMZ is not reporting on it. Ah, very true. Yes. Oh, chat says he's in the Seychelles. Really? Oh, that would make more sense time zone wise because Australia is too late. Seychelles, that's like that's pretty uh, random. If that's nine right. or ten, half past nine, half past nine in the evening now. That's not bad for okay. playing. Wait, wow, how, so okay. how did? I don't think it's confirmed, but that's that seems to be the rumors. Oh, Norwegian TV said he's in Seychelles. So yeah. That's oh, where okay. Is. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so he's in the islands. That's is that's that's what that's that's in Africa, right? Is that that's like is that e- East Africa. Africa or West? It's it's yeah. East Africa. Okay, I know it's like an island, right? Something like that. But you know what I was gonna say mm-hmm. is that's I'm kind of surprised he's doing that because it's very dicey because his internet could go out there. Yeah, I was gonna but, say I, I don't. That's so remote. Yeah. How did how did that happen? Like how did what happen? Like how did what? That's so random. <laughs> yeah. By by the way, like Timur is continuing to put more and more pressure on Jan. Jan is under deep pressure here. I think he has like Queen E one is the only move, right? Because if Bishop F two, you lose the Bishop on F three. You can't move the Knights of checkmate. I mean, maybe you can go Knight C to E two. But man, this looks so bad for White. Well, it, it it's also bad that you can, you're not going to win. Like, how are you going to win this position? I mean, maybe you won't lose. Yeah, like but... after ninety, knight, like you can go knight cd two, but again, rook f four. Just keep piling up the pressure, and white is so boxed up. Sooner or later, it's going to collapse. Yeah, what a position uh, to have for Rajabo when he he doesn't even need to win. It's Nepal who is in a must win situation. MVL is still trying to win his game, but maybe the tables are turning. Is is Wesley all right more, or more than all right? It it looks like MVL is on his last kind of attempt at attacking Wesley's king. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This isn't gonna end well. Just G four, maybe. Even actually, it's still not so clear though. I mean, maybe even H six is fine, but you, it's not. I mean, it's lost, but it's not. It's not like there still are chances here because of the openness of Black's king. It looks very likely we will see a playoff here because Wesley mm-hmm. will not lose this game, which means that Wesley wins the probably second round. Probably not. Probably not. I, I wouldn't say it's, we're quite there yet. I mean, this is again, it's like the it's like the position that that and see he just played a bad move. This is what I'm saying. It's not. You don't 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 talk too soon, Levy. Well, there might be rook f1, queen h3. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, that's what he wants. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh wow. But, 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 what? What a move. Bishop d2. <laughs> That's a cool move. Like, what I was going to say is it's just like the Dubov position that was minus, that was like minus five or whatever it was for Magnus. Um, the, the king was open. Like, it's, it, it, there are different kinds of positions that are winning. And in some of them, they have, um, they, there is still a lot of counterplay. Like, this position, I mean, Wesley's okay, but I'm, I'm still concerned for him because 
if the bishop gets to c3, you can go queen h8, you can hit the pawn on f6. I mean, this is not this is not trivial still. This is not trivial at all. Yeah, that's that's what I'm Bishop d2 is a very, very nice idea. It's such a cool yeah. move. It, it is not threatening anything as of now, but uh, it will place, it will get the bishop to a much more like active square. Bishop c3 and queen h8 here? I mean, this looks, this looks so dangerous for black. I mean, maybe it's all holding, but man, this looks scary. There's also bishop b4 and queen f8. Mm. Yeah, bishop c3 is not, not showing as a top move, and I don't quite understand why, because it seems more natural than bishop b4 but mm -hmm. but bishop b4 and queen f8 is a huge threat yeah actually how do you stop that uh, i'm not sure it i mean this is what i'm saying this is i mean this is very wild here mm, do you have like some rook e7 no then, then queen h8 yeah so Maxime has to find bishop b4. I don't think it's a hard move to find. Um, yeah, I mean, bishop b4, I think, is an obvious move. Yeah, Magnus has... Uh, Magnus. Uh, MVL has two minutes. Three minutes? Yeah. What? What just happened with the clock? What? He's got three minutes now. He got an extra minute. I don't know where that came from, but... Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. No, I, what, what I was going to say um, as well is is that I, I said this yesterday, but it's very interesting how people approach a game. So, for example, he finds it, obviously. Um, like, what, when I'm playing, I, I make sure I keep my mouse off the board, for example. Mm -hmm. Whereas, because on Zoom, we have to share our screens, when, when some of my games have ended or my match is over earlier, uh, I always, for whatever reason, I end up seeing Maxime's screen. And it's very interesting when I see him playing his games, the way that, like, he's always, like, he's, he's, like, he's hovering over a piece and moving to another piece. So, it's like... He's doing it like kind of on the fly, which is very unusual because I do it the exact opposite way. Um, so he calculates by placing the mouse on the piece and then he moves to another one without, yeah, without like, lifting so them like, up. I'll give you an example. So like here, he, he, Maxime is probably hovering over the queen on c8 or the bishop on b4. And then when Wesley moves, he's going to see if he can move that piece. If he can't, then he'll like probably like if it's the bishop, he'll touch the queen. If it's not the queen, then he'll probably then he'll probably like touch the rook and, and so forth. Interesting. Um, yeah, it's very different. I, I was surprised yeah. when I saw that. Do you, do you think it helps him, or why would it, it come? Um, because for his calculation, he wouldn't have to be hovering the mouse there. Like over the board, uh, chess doesn't have that tool that you can just right. uh, circle around the pieces with a marker. Yeah, no, I mean, I think um, I think it's just the way he does it. I think everyone has a different method. It was just very mm -hmm. curious to me because I, I don't feel like I've, even when I've seen Magnus's screen, like he doesn't do it that way either. So it's just very interesting how different it was because everyone has a different like sort of uh, approach. Yeah, and one would think that that increases the chances of a mouse slip if he mm -hmm. accidentally moves those pieces. Once again, Levy, please slip it to the black side. We're going to show respect to the community. <laughs> yes. We did rank it, <laughs> Levy. Don't forget, we did rank it S tier. Don't forget that. Yes, it so is we have S -tier. to show the proper respect. Is this the first... <laughs> I think this might be the first time, like, I've ever seen a position where every piece touches like this. <laughs> like, I, where every piece is on an adjacent square. You can all right. like, bind them... That is crazy. I've never but seen. But has got to move. He's he's so low on time. He's just got to move here. Maybe like he's I, I was wondering move. if he can play Bishop G four here. I've never seen that. I'm actually like mind blown. I... It looks like a Christmas tree. I was gonna say it. Lo it looks like the state of Texas, but uh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> but in the holiday spirit, I, got, I do think it one. looks like a Christmas tree. I got zero percent on my mind. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bishop Bishop G seven, and then uh, you know you know what I almost did. I almost drew king f7, rook a, h8, thinking that Timur still had a rook there, forgetting <laughs> that the rook is on h3. <laughs> I just completely forgot that both his rooks are already... This is the weirdest thing ever. I mean, it's it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, Jan's chances are increasing, though, based on the time situation. As, as usual, he's way up on the clock, and this gives him the best chances. I, I think he's still worse here, but the best chance he has are if Timur gets really low where there isn't an obvious move. Whoa. This is a, feels a little bit sweaty. Every, everyone's all close together over there. So mm -hmm. Definitely no social distancing by these pieces, I'll tell you that. That bishop on f3 cannot move. That rook on f2 cannot move. Like, literally. The knight on g3 even... also can't really move. I mean, it can move, but it can't really move either. Right. 
Amazing. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I, I guess the computer says what white takes the rook, but it's very hard to take the rook here because after e takes f four, you go knight c five, and then you have this big pressure on um on on e four as well. Of course, you take with the e pawn. Yeah, of course you have to take, obviously. Rook h1 is not mate, don't worry. Even though the king has no moves, it can be blocked. Okay. Yeah, the more I look at this, though, the more unhappy I become with this position for, for Timur because it feels like Jan is going to have obvious moves and Timur's moves are not as obvious. But he's going knight c5. I mean, I would almost pre-move knight c5 here because I think it's the obvious next move. Although I guess gf5, you have g4. So I don't know if it's a safe pre-move per se, but I, I think I actually would pre-move knight, knight c5 here if I was Timur. Because you expect E takes off five. Now, he won't do it, but that's what I would do. He has 40 seconds, actually. I just realized he has, right. like, almost no time. Yeah, well, that's the reason that I think... He, that's why Jan has chances here, specifically for that reason. So, knight c5, obviously. Instant move. Instant. Just go. Why is he thinking? Knight c5. Just go. Yep. Now, knight e4 is coming. How do you yeah. stop knight e4? Do you have to stop knight, knight e3? But the knight c3, there's also knight e7, knight e5. Like... This game keeps going back and forth here. It's a very, very messy game. At some point, you also have to deal with rook h1 and something there. But for now, your mm -hmm. rook is really annoying for white. Yeah. In the meantime, it looks like MVR has gone mm -hmm. all in. And now he is um, going to lose the game. Is this already losing? Because he, he has given up quite some material for the attack, but there seems Ooh. to be none left. So what happened after bishop b4? After bishop b4, there was queen d4, and he didn't play king a3 because I think uh, it was queen takes bishop. But then yeah. you take and go king c3 and take the rook. And you can, yeah. I was actually thinking about this. So you can stop the three pawns on the king side. I don't know if that's why he didn't do it, but he played back mm -hmm. to c3 and he's down right. all the pawns yeah. now. But Yeah, now, now it's just too late. Yeah. Yeah. This will be... Uh... Yeah, no Although, net. again, it's still not guaranteed by the... Whoa, what's happening in Team Wars game? Whoa, what's Knight going on? G1. Yeah, this is wild. Um, I think we should leave it here just because of how this game, how messy it is. Yeah. Yeah. So do you go like Queen E1 here? And then if Knight takes Rook, you can take the Black Rook on H3? Uh... Maybe. <laughs> I mean, again, I, I think, I mean, it's I, very hard to play this for both sides. But yeah, this looks so difficult to play. Like, I, I think wherever you go with the queen, there's knight g3 takes and you take with the pawn, which is important that you don't take with the uh, with the rook. And there's no queen e8. And queen e6, right. you slide over and you're not scared. He does go to e1. Do you have a choice? Yeah, that's what you I expected. Yeah. Knight g3 or knight f2, right? You can take... I think knight f2 loses to knight takes uh, h3. Oh, wow. You're not even going to take my horse. Huh. Okay. I mean, are there any other moves besides knight g3? That's what I'm looking for. There's got to be a reason the computer said that this... Oh, no. Rook f3, rook f3. There's got to be some reason. <laughs> okay, seems so like you and Timor... knight g3, rook takes... You and Timor are on the same page. Yeah, you take with the pawn, of course. Oh, but you know what it is? Uh, actually, can you take with the rook here? Oh, you know what it is? The queen's on e1, so you can take with the rook. If the queen was on e2, there would be a rook h2 trapping the queen. He has no time. He's running out of time. He, please don't flag. Please don't. <laughs> Two seconds left when Tamer Rajabo made a move. Oh my gosh. Nepo's going to win this game. We're going to have this two tiebreaks. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I mean, maybe not win this game because it's opposite color bishops. Keep that in mind. This, I mean, we're headed for something where the bishops are on dark and light squares. So there are mm. there are drawing chances for sure. But I, I think, yeah, I think here white's going to be up, what, a pawn? Yeah, so, was like, yeah. you're saying knight h3, pawn f2, and then... Knight f2, yeah. All right, yeah, Rajabov's got to take... Although, can you take, h, can you take h3 and take g4? Nah, I'm probably no good. Right. I don't I don't hate this. I mean, the opposite colored bishop endgame is going to be a draw, so... Yeah, they're, they're actually this kind of... It's now on Jan to win the game again, because after queen g3, there's always a queen e5 move. And it's opposite colored bishop, so there are good drawing chances. But he's got to go queen g3, like, just move. 
uh, 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 you got to move. Uh, King F8, wow. Why? Yeah, he didn't want queen E7? Left. Well, I th but how do you stop queen E6 and queen C8 now? I don't understand. King G2 by Napalm oh, he didn't. G2. He didn't like... He didn't like queen g3, but now, no, now but the now knight 98, moves. 98, 98, and bishop e5, 98. Yeah, no, exactly. Again, there's oh no my doubt god. he made a move with one second. Oh my god, he made a move with a second on the clock, and it was a bad move. He just made a move to, to, to not flag. 98. Yeah, Jan's gonna win this game, wow. He's gotta go 98, I don't know why he... He just panicked. He just literally panicked there, played bishop h8. Yeah. What and a game. I think, I think it's too late, but I'm not sure. Knight d3 stops bishop e5. Yeah, but still queen h7, queen e7. It's actually not, it's still not over. Right. Okay, queen, I mean, queen h7 is in a, uh, yeah, that, that would, that could be a showstopper. Queen h7. Yeah, queen h7, obviously. So, is there any queen value queen. to, well, I'll say, he's just playing moves not to flag now. I mean. Yeah. But I mean, b6 is okay, though. b6 and a5 is fine. Is there any value to bishop d5? Okay, now, okay, now you go. have to go queen h7. Now you have to go queen h7. Okay, I. I get you know what actually you know what Timur's trying to do he's trying to set it up where he he does he just brings he he does everything first and then he brings the queen back. Queen this, I I don't hate this by the way to be clear like bishop f six and mm. queen e seven. Just but don't he's, he's flag Timur he does the same again. Okay, queen h eight. It seems reasonable. It's on on par with what Hikaru was talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, so Jan Nepomniachtchi needs to win this game in order to tie the score in the match. A draw for Rajabo means qualification to the semifinals. Is that a good move or a bad move? And the question is: Is Bishop e5 a draw, or is it losing? Because I don't, yeah, I don't Bishop, believe. I think Bishop e5 is the only move here, right? You got to just play it. And the hold. end game looks. Oh, oh! But now Bishop a4, Knight. You got to. Knight f6, queen h4, King. I mean... Yeah. The no, funny but bishop... thing about... The... Go ahead, Levy. I was going to say, bishop e5 just looks so hard to play, because I don't know, it's like your structure is terrible, and but you get the right. dark squared blockade. I, I think Timur... I don't, I don't know if Timur gets nervous, but it, it, it he's... seems like he's locked in, but that bishop h8 thing was really scary. That got one mm -hmm. second on the clock. Yeah, if he had played ninety eight right away, I think he would have had good chance, better chances than he has now. But still, the thing I will say about the position, okay, now you have to go knight f six, I guess, immediately, or queen g seven. One of the two moves, just move. Oh my gosh, Wesley so meanwhile has just completely melted down. He's losing. Has he? What? He's just straight. He's not. I mean, he has to draw this game. Wow. So he has, he has so to many pawns up. Oh, what you, happened you can to check him? And take a five. You can check and take a five. You check B7, check A8, take A5, and there's no checkmate around the back. Oh, he's going to check and take this pawn and get the two I on... I told on, you guys. Two on one. Oh, my I God. I told you guys. I, to I told you that, like, it wasn't... I mean, it was winning, but it was still on the edge. Yeah, take A5. That's crazy. Imagine that... that was, <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It, you know, Anish cursed everybody. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. He did. You know, Anish called you, Magnus, and uh, and uh, Wesley the, the the big three favorites. Yeah, oh, what, then you guys play the best oh, chess. By, by, by the way, sorry, I think Timur is in great shape to draw the yeah. game now, by the way. This looks... Actually, why is this not just a draw? It's just this blockade. Knight is coming to b5? But bishop b2, right? Uh-huh, true. Oh, and b5 knight before knight a6, but king d8. It's still just a draw, I think. Yeah, this, this should be a draw with correct play. Timur doesn't panic and he brings the king over to bring the bring the king over to c8 and b8 i think it's just a draw there's just no way white can win this a5 here maybe is also a move what about a5 oh that opens it up so you don't want to do that yeah i was just about to ask like a5 b5 you want to it's very tough to decide with five seconds what to do yeah i mean it's, i would just i would just wait i would just wait and go king king d8 he played a6 it's maybe better to be patient Oof. okay here comes the king Okay, so now you have to bring your king back. But the thing is, any exchange is a draw here. Even the knight for the bishop is a draw. I think. Yeah, any exchange is a draw. It's crazy. So we might get no we might get no no tie breaks, right? True, true. We Although I don't no like I don't like what's going on now, because there's gonna be knight d4. And is this endgame still a draw? 
Knight d4. Oh, good here. point. Okay. What? You have to go like bishop b2. Is there I mean, a knight, knight h6, knight f7, knight e5? Is that. Oh, that's. I think that's might be Timur's idea here. To put the knight on e5 and hit everybody. This is definitely a draw with correct play. But, I mean, Timur with no time. I, I think this is going to be a draw. I, I do, actually. Because I think it's too easy for Timur to play here. It's too easy to find moves. Uh, can you go like, king f6, king e5 now? Or... Well, the knight on d3 cuts the whole. I'm assuming, like, yeah, he'll move his knight king. Knight h6. Knight h6 here is, I think, the move I would play. Knight h6, knight f7. Two seconds? Okay, he's going for this. Of course, he's not going to get it, but... The king to the middle. No, but this looks... This looks unwinnable. How do you? Yeah, I don't. I don't know how you win this. I agree. Just king e seven. I mean, yeah. I think. I think. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, let's see. What can we go back to Wesley's game? Yeah. So it seems that Rajabov is holding, and that will mean that he qualifies to the semifinals if that if he doesn't flag because he still doesn't have time. Mm -hmm. There's a 10-second increment that mm -hmm. that's all he's using for his time management. Yeah. In the meanwhile, Maxime with a pawn up to Maxime connect the has cross to calls. win to win the match. If he does not right. win, they go to a blitz playoff between him mm -hmm. and Wesley. Right. Okay, Qu a queen trade is queen a seven? No, a queen trade is a win, but queen e7? I want c5. Yeah, the queen trade is definitely a win because okay. the white king is close. Right, and you push the pawns together. Yeah, black is not in time to create the the fabled blockade of the two pawns. You had that, right? Was it against Magnus? You had the, the two pawn... I, I think I had it against Ding Lorana, actually. Okay. Well, there was, there was some wild opposite colored bishop endgames over the summer. You had to block the the okay. Uh, he traded queens. Does this is this a draw? It depends what the evaluation is. It's plus one point two. So so far it hasn't seen a win. This might not be a win then. This might not be a win. Oh. Wow. Wait. So MVL very boldly thought he was no, winning. And actually, this, this must be. Wait. No. This must yeah. be win. Bishop F two. Right. I was gonna say. Sassy says it's zero 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 and calls it a theoretical draw. Wait, so bishop, bishop f2 or bishop g1 are the obvious moves here. Just bring the bishop up. Because you want to play king c5, right? That's the point. Oh, but the king's getting in front. The king's getting in front of the pawn. Yeah, yeah, because the king gets in front of the pawn here. Yeah, yeah, you go king e6, king d7. And if king c5, king e6, king b6, you go um, king d7, you give up the pawn, and you go bishop f7. There you go. Wow. That's, that's why it's a draw. Hmm. So you will get the fabled blockade. Uh, Rajabov blundered apparently. What? Has he? Oh! oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Nepo's getting through on the queen side. He's, he's what, bulldozed. What do you mean he's getting through? King a5, knight c4, knight e5, and it's a draw, dude. Isn't it? Knight. Oh, e. Knight c4, knight e5. Oh, you have knight e1 or something? What? Yeah, I was thinking knight e1, but then bishop c3. King B7. Yeah, yeah, okay. But you oh, got you, you lose your knight, but you get C7. But you lose B4 and A, uh, there's Bishop A5. Okay, you got to go, Timur. Knight C4. Knight C4. Just move. Yeah. Yeah, well, knight, not, knight E5 is, yeah, that's, that's a... Two seconds left. Oh, no, you know um, what there is? There's Knight E5, Knight E1, Bishop C3. Did he flag? Oh, my God, he made a move with one, one second again. One second again. Oof. Wow. Oh, this is tragic for Timor because like 91 bishop f2 b5. There's always just b5 b6. This is so rough. Wow, this is unbelievable. I mean, this is why I didn't like a6 and b5. What? What what what? King e5? Wait. Just wait. Bishop I mean, but is... this is a draw, isn't this? Because you can just wait on f7, f6, or not. Am I wrong? So king f6. Why is this winning? I don't understand. Because you wait on f7, f6. And when the king goes away, you just wait with the bishop. Can the, wait, bishop, go... the, bishop. Wait, bishop, the bishop go... Bishop. Wait, oh, bishop e2, bishop a6, bishop c8, bishop e6? Oh, no. Yeah, you can flank with the bishop. Yeah, you can flank with the bishop. 
Yeah, and then you run out Goodness of Goodness me. Moves, and it's Zugzavon. Oh, That's so yeah, instructive. Yeah, yeah. It looked like it could be a fortress, but that bishop maneuver wow. all the way to e6 will make it a tuk-tuk position. Mm -hmm. And you know what's funny? The pawn is on b5, it's a draw. But this one idea of bringing the bishop in first is why yeah. it's winning. That's amazing. I think if the pawn was on b5, it's a draw. Uh, yeah, probably. Because there's no... Yeah. You're right. Yep. So we're going to have two tiebreakers, right? It does yeah, look B5, like that. B5, B5 is a draw because the bishop is it gets in. Wow. And what about the other one, Wesley's game? That is it's, amazing. It's still a, a table-based draw according to the Norwegian supercomputer. No, it's um, an easy draw. Yeah, easy draw. Wow. Yeah, let's uh, pull up the MVL. So we've got opposite colored bishop endgames. I also saw that there was a tweet. By, Mag by world by champion. Magnus. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's. I'm going to uh, run to the restroom, you guys, so I'll be right back, okay? Sure. Yeah, it said uh, people may play, have good days or bad days against me and I against them. But after another collapse, the bottom line is I'm in a deep funk right now and it's really frustrating. There you have it. That, That's the world champion. And that's that, what we like about him. He's always brutally honest. He doesn't want any excuses. What's the this about good or bad days? Yeah. I was going to say that's that's rare. I mean he's he he obviously is very honest with himself, but yeah. Uh and about the play of others and, and just his opinions on various matters, but I think it's pretty rare to see that. And I think that's kind of the most interesting thing about modern day chess is that you have something like a like a Twitter or any social yeah. media. And I yeah. see Yeah, he's getting And I think I think it's it has always been um something I really appreciate about Magnus when I got to interview him at a couple of events. He always is brutally honest and straightforward and he doesn't pretend to be a superhuman, a hero that no one can beat. He always, he always is, I think, very blunt and straightforward and sincere okay. about how he felt and how he played. So there you have it, Magnus Carlsen and his tweet about how his tournament has gone. What happened? Uh, Ma Magnus tweeted his, uh, okay. saying that he's in a, he's in a deep funk right now. And, uh, mm, okay. All right, so we're going to have two tiebreakers, right? We will have two tiebreakers. Kind of unbelievable that Timur messed that up. Um, yep. Because he, he never should have lost that game. Um, but, yeah, happens. It does. Okay, so Maxim goes king. D you know what Maxim's trying to do? He's trying to get um get Wesley to close the diagonal. What? Wait, is this still a draw? Wait, whoa, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Bishop e1? Oh, you, you, you gambit the pawn anyway. Anyway, wait, what is it? Whoa, whoa, wait a second, what's going on here? Is this still a draw? King c5? Yeah, wait. What's going on? Wait a second, what's going on here? King, wait, what? King b8, bishop c3, bishop e5, b7, make a queen? Is that a draw? <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm kind of shocked that Wesley allowed this, actually. This is like, I guess that draws, but man, that's scary to play with no time on your clock. You're both going to get a queen. This is craziness. Right. Absolutely crazy. Got to go, Wesley. King b8. Yeah, the, the bar is having a fit. It can't. I can't I mean, see. I mean, I, I think this is a draw, but man, like. Wow. What I think this was I think Wesley could have drawn this much more easily than this because like the way that Wesley is used all his time, you can tell that it's like now it's like it's panic time. It's like what what just happened? Like what why wasn't this just a routine technical draw? Yeah, B eight and I was I, mean, I was trying to figure out uh, can you go C seven and make a knight and make a queen? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like C seven, King E seven and make a knight on C eight and then make a queen on B eight after it or something. Wow. I mean, this is still a draw, right? Or is this? I don't. I don't think draw. anyone knows anymore. But it it seems likely because of the still mm -hmm. the opposite color bishops. But I mean, I, I would say this is definitely a draw with correct play. 
But again, at some point, white's going to go c7, and I don't think you're going to have a shield. Like, king g6, queen g7, mm -hmm. and c7. And I mean, you, because of the darts for bishop and queen here, you're not going to be able to shield. Or you're not, sorry, you're not going to be able to create a perpetual. So you go check, of course, on g7. And then you play c7. Or you can play c7 right away to me. No, you just go check and then c7. Oops, queen c1. It's crazy. Okay, it goes to g4. The bar is going to start doing this every single move, by the way, because right. of the adjustment of depth. He's offering a repetition. Mm -hmm. Of course, I mean, can you go like king d6? No, king d6, queen d3 is a draw. I'm wondering if you can somehow try to use the king and the queen to create a mating nut here. Is it a draw after king c7? King d6, queen d3, king c7? Well, I mean, probably you can sack on c6 and it's a draw. Oh, because, yeah, you could get queen and bishop. Right. Versus queen, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's important. I think that's why you have to check check on d7 and just go, go like... I would I would have checked on d7 and c, d7, g7, and then push the juicer. Always push the juicer. Will we get to see that? And what would be your, your prediction mm -hmm. when it comes to how likely that MVL will will win this. He has no, to win it. What is this? Queen for D3? No oh, no. He's, oh, wait. Queen D3, there's King E7. Oh, he's, he's trying to be really sneaky here. Oh, so he's trying to get Queen D3, King C7. That's what he's trying to mm -hmm. do. Is there Queen F8? Queen F8 and then King C7? And then... Yeah, Queen F8 might be the only move. Very sneaky move by Maxime, though. Queen F8, because Queen E7, you take, take, and then you snap the pawn and... Right. And he does go to c7. So now you're saying bishop takes c6? But now queen... Yeah, it's definitely you can now wrong. trade, right? Because the king is blocking the pawn for uh, now. Yeah, you go queen queen, queen f7. And wherever the king goes, you just check. Yeah, it's, it's a draw. It's oh, he plays queen f3 to threaten oh, that's queen nice. takes c6. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. And that will mean another tiebreaker. So both matches will lead to a blitz tiebreaker. But before the blitz tiebreaker happens, we will have our final giveaway for second. an wait item second. wait a second as long as he doesn't take c6 i think if he takes c6 he's getting checkmated what <laughs> okay. i think he's repeating yeah. yeah no i mean if king d8 queen c6 i think queen g4 and you're getting checkmated if i'm not mistaken i think you're right i think there was a mate there and he's so, uh, anyway he's... whatever yeah it's gonna be a draw though mm, is he gonna go like king b8 <laughs> then queen, queen b3, right? Maybe. I mean, queen takes c6. So anywhere you go, it's just a draw. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're going to do the giveaway, you guys. Let's do it. Yes, I well, I was going to just wait for the result. I because thought I don't we wanna... can wait for the game. Oh, no, may we may have to start it, though. Depends on when the tiebreaker mm -hmm. will be. I don't yeah. know if we have the time to wait for the game. So or let's, not. Uh, let, let's, let's boot up the video, our final video of the day. Uh, and then we will... Uh... And the giveaway is actually already open, oh. so you guys can start entering. All there right. we go. Here is the video. Oh my gosh, that might have been the best one yet. <laughs> that was so cute. And the prize for this final giveaway before the chessboard giveaway, this is another graphics card, an RTX 3090 and a PlayStation 5 and a board signed by Hikaru. It's all mm -hmm. together a pack of the best of the best that we have for today's giveaway. Yeah, this is an epic one. You get everything. You get the graphics card, the PS5, and the sign board for this one. The, so the, the big giveaway, the big one, you guys, the big one. Yes. This is the big one. And if you want a chance to win, again, donations under $25, you get one ticket per dollar. Donations above $25, you get two tickets per dollar. Obviously, the more donations, the more chances, the more tickets you get. So make sure to use this. This is your yes. final chance. And uh, I'm just going to say you you can spam the command, but that doesn't do a damn thing. So you got to click the link and then you got to donate. You gotta donate yep. And mm -hmm. 
This is it. Let's make that push. Let's try to hit 300k. Yeah, Let's I agree. To, I, I agree. I can see the tweet already. You know, bad loser, but raised 300 grand for charity in a day. So how about that? <laughs> so how about them apples? Oh, we're going to have a goodwill, hun goodwill hunting moment, you know? Mm-hmm. $266,000 <laughs> have been raised. Seven more minutes to enter the giveaway. Seven minutes and 40 seconds. Uh... This is your last chance to win a graphics card, a PlayStation 5, and a signboard by Hikaru. Remember, you need to enter during this time. So if you donated earlier, that was for the previous giveaways. If you want a chance at this giveaway, it has to be within these 10 minutes of the giveaway, the final giveaway for a graphics card, PlayStation 5, and a signboard. It is official. Uh, the game has been drawn, which means that we have two Blitz games coming up between Wesley So and MVL as well as Timur Rajabov and Jan Nepomnici. We also have now raised $275,000. I have a feeling we're going to blow the roof off of 300 k We might even get <laughs> higher than that. Not bad for a first time, huh? Almost, uh, you know, a third mm -hmm. of the way to a million dollars raised. We're not yet Dr. Lupo, but this is a good first step, huh? Exactly, um, yes. Sorry, I'm actually doing my donation right now. Okay, but if you, oh. win, the, if you win the draw, what happens? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a... Uh, we just do a redraw or something, yeah. but yeah. No, I actually just realized because I was looking at my stream labs and I saw there were, there were a significant amount of donations or like uh, like $150 donated to me during the stream. So I'm I'm going to um I'm just going to make a I'll make a $250. Yeah, donation. we we obviously uh we we tried to push that that people didn't realize that it there's a difference between donating to the charity and to the, the the dashboard is completely malfunctioning. It's going up and down. It's going like up and then down and then up and then down and then it keeps going up and it's at 285k right it? now. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah. I think I should see it pop up in a second. Let me just make sure it pops up since you guys are a second behind me. Is it going to show up? I just made a $250 donation. I don't see it. Oh, well, such is life. Whatever. It's happening right. so fast. There's so many donations. Thank you yeah, so yeah, much, yeah, everyone, no, 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 for course. participating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. This is mm -hmm. absolutely mind-blowing. I think it did. Let me just make sure. Sorry, one second. Yeah, it's just so hard to track. Like the the yeah. the the mm -hmm. alert box on the left side might be literally like ten minutes behind. Um, right, right. No, no. Yeah, it's it's fine. Yeah, it, it went through. Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. My my desk. No, no. Was... You know, it, it it must be behind because when I'm when I just went to the, the actual link, it says two hundred fifty eight thousand donated. But aren't we like two sixty eight or something? We're at two ninety three. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Point in case. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I um, can't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Hikaru's a terrible loser. He goes on a spending spree. You know, he has to he has to spend money to make himself feel better. Yeah, that's uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no. You guys exactly. are you guys are incredible. Yeah. I'm just gonna let yeah. Chesbay handle uh, letting us know how much money is there because the dashboard completely froze for me. You are uh... yeah. Yeah, I think we're about to break uh, 300. It's very close to 300,000. Mm -hmm. And a reminder that this is the last giveaway. 298. We're getting close. No, we're gonna blow past it. Oh, I think we've just done it. 300,000 dollars raised amazing yeah unbelievable stuff even you know even when our chief cause of uh of playing the tournament and qualifying for the semi and the and then potentially the final doesn't go our way mm -hmm. it's huge you guys really came through so thousand dollars amazing thank you so much to everybody for for all your donations uh it's for a great cause so thank you once again big shout out to levy and anna as well they've been doing the commentary for for most of the day um and for the past for the past like five days i guess it is now so um Big shout out to them as well for the great work they've done too. So big shout out to everybody and to you guys first and foremost, the fans. Thank you so much. Uh, we have Absolutely, uh, the fans. Uh, this chess. is mind blowing. Still four minutes left. Let me, let, let's just remind everyone mm -hmm. that it's again, it's not the command. The command doesn't do anything, but you need to click on the link if you want to participate. You have three and a half minutes left. Donations mm -hmm. below $25, that's one ticket per dollar. Donations above $25, that's two tickets per dollar. There's a way to enter for free as well. We want everyone to be part of it. So click on the link and enter for free. If you cannot afford to donate, that's also fine. Make sure to participate. Yeah, and I guess that is a fair point. I, people were, were spamming, but what happens is that if there's a cooldown on Moobot, it will just uh, Twitch whisper you mm -hmm. the link. So click on right. that link. You could donate whatever it is, 5, 10, 15, that you thought you were going to... You know, donate to a streamer for you know for today. Donate it to this. Uh, it's crazy. What 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 a crazy first run at this, and 
You have a chance to win a graphics card, a PS5, and a signed board for the next three minutes and five seconds if you enter. Our final giveaway for the PlayStation and graphics card, and there will be then another five boards signed by Hikaru. But for now, this is the final, final giveaway for these items. Mm -hmm. And the rest is uh, the donations that have been made throughout the broadcast. That's, that's a separate giveaway. This is this is amazing, you guys. This is really amazing. Incredible. I can't wait to see where, where this will lead. It's already, I think, over 317,000 at the moment. Oh, wow. 319,000 oh, wow. approaching it just now. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Incredible. Crazy. Might even get to 350 in the in the next three five three to five minutes. <laughs> true, true, very true. Yeah. No. I mean, I, I think that's that's one of those things that's very uh, very rewarding about streaming is when you have when you have these opportunities when you have these big communities and, and we try to give back in, in a meaningful way to um to the world. So thank you again to everybody. All right. So uh, let's look at the chats. What's going on here? Isn't white just up a juicer? Knight d5? What's going on? Is there some knight d5, bishop d8, bishop b4 trick? Mm. What's going on? Well, he just takes on e7. Now, now there goes your bishop b4 trick. <laughs> it's uh, still Actually, tricky, though, because your king is open, right? So. But what, why isn't white just up a pawn here? That's well, maybe a great you know, bishop question. E7. No, this oh. looks terrible for black, actually. This looks really bad. 90 seconds, guys. 90 seconds. 90 seconds, yep. Uh, yeah, also, uh, uh, El Timon is, uh, is uh, Timor. Timor Rajabov, and uh, Nepo has, has the black pieces here. Um, mm -hmm. They're not helping us over, over, <laughs> over on chess.com. Someone change the damn names. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Totally. Uh, we're trying to run a, a damn fundraiser here. Oh, my goodness. All right. This is just, this is going to be two games, my friends. One with white, one with black. So they, each player gets one. If it's one to one, then we have an Armegadon final game. Right, exactly. Uh, isn't white just better now? Bishop c4? Bishop c4, bishop c4 indeed. I don't understand. What, what am I missing? Does is there some b5 chill? Chilliness or trickiness? Or, sorry, not chilliness, trickiness. Chill it, I can send a shiver <laughs> down your spine to see b5. No, but actually, yeah. bishop c4, b5, queen b5. Um, there's just some like <laughs> queen c6 or something afterwards. But I, I think here I would just go um, probably just bishop e2 and knight c3, or or even something something more relaxing like knight e2 maybe. But I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're at 327,000. That's amazing. Amazing, you guys. Okay, so bishop e2, very calm. I mean, again, it's a free pawn, right? So c6, you go knight c3. Yeah, I think he's just going to go back. But then takes and bishop b4, rook c1. I mean, white is better, but I don't know how much better white really is because black is two bishops. Ram it's not much of an extra pawn. Rambro. 101. Rambro. 101 is the winner. Winning Ram. it all. I, I, yeah, I realize actually it's not a play on Rambo. It's a play on Rams. He must be a fan of the, of the St. Louis Rams, right? Oh, Whoa, what is Queen could six? be. Whoa. Rambo, you have just won aren't they, a PlayStation they the LA 5 Rams now? graphics card, a signboard. Oh. Hey, bro, they're, they're the LA Rams. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, but <laughs> They're only your team. <laughs> I think that's a... No, they're not my team. Definitely not. Oh, that, not that, 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 that's, only because, uh, that's only because they have a terrible owner that they're in LA. Ah, ah, fair. No, but wait, hold on. What team is in Vegas? Aren't they building a football stadium there? That's the uh, the 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 formerly the Oakland Oakland Raiders. Ah, yeah, yeah, L yeah. The Raiders, the Raiders, the Raiders. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Huge, Rambo. Congratulations. Uh, what a day, you guys. What, what a, a day. day. And there will be still five more prizes. Stay tuned until the end because we still have five more prizes, five chess boards signed by Hikaru. And as we know, that the price, the, the value of those boards is, is not possible to express with numbers. Mm -hmm. All right. So what's going on here? Um, oh, well, that numbers. 
<laughs> uh, since I have the stream open, it's more yeah. like that cover. <laughs> it's uh, like... Fide just tweeted, the International Chess Federation, Hikaru Nakamura and his team, Anna, you and I don't have names, but that's okay, uh, just <laughs> raised $314,000 for care, more details, and they linked it. That's very cool of them. Wow. So, nice. thank you nice. so much. Yeah, shout out to uh, whoever manages uh, the Fide Twitter page. We do have names, I promise. They're right there. Well, you guys know Anna. Anna commented on the World Championship. She doesn't even get a name on the damn tweet. Um, they know me. I think they just um, wanted to make sure that it's about Hikaru. It's his platform. Hikaru, without you, we wouldn't have raised this much. Maybe just a very small no, percentage of it. I, no, no, no. I'm, I'm frustrated on Anna's behalf because <laughs> uh, she covered the World Championship the last time there was a World Championship. So... Maybe the last time ever. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. I mean, who knows? I mean, at this rate. Oh no! Oh no! I don't want to go down in history like that. And and the, yeah. the last one. Joking aside, you guys, isn't um, isn't Timor doing very well here? He's just up a pawn, right? If you go bishop c6, there's bishop b5 to trade the bishops. So it looks well, very good. But very it, it seems like a prime nepo prime nepo situation, no? King h8 f5 just go crazy. Right, but why can I actually cash da, 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 castle, castle to the queen side? Cash app, castle, castle, yeah. which word has <laughs> so many words. That's crazy. We, we, if we even raised the donation goal by 50k, we would already exceed it. It's at 348,000. That is. Yeah, we're going to hit 350. We're going to hit 350. Amazing. Really amazing. Oh, that's wild. 300% also, more. Also, you guys, don't forget to give Anna a follow as well. We we're hoping to get her to 100,000 follows on Twitch by the end of December. I think she is at what? You're at what? 98,000? I think we are very close, but I didn't yeah. want today's stream to be what's about me because there's so many number. more. <laughs> what's the number? I want to know the number. Oh, what's the current number? Uh, I'm afraid to look at it. Um, let me open my dashboard again because I think there were too many new followers. It couldn't catch up. Um... <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> You know the problem. No, in ninety-seven point seven four one. That's the number I nice. see. Nice, very nice, very nice. It's close. Thank you guys who decided to follow. Uh, I'm under huge pressure because January the first is the day after tomorrow. Basically, there's no time left. There's no time okay. left. It's all good. Uh oh, Queen H four is a nice move, no? Yeah, very very tricky position here. This is typical Nepo game. Like there's this threat of rookie three d four is weak. Your king is gonna get stuck in the center. I mean, White should be better here st still with King e two. But again, playing it like a bond cloud is very tricky. Yeah, I was going to say king e2, queen d4, and then white is oh, safe. Sorry, but... I, for I forgot about queen d4. That's true. Maybe you go bishop e4? He went king f1. Okay, so the idea, I think, is he wants to play, I mean, h3, and then bishop e4, or c4. I mean, I know white is much better here. And, and I think a slow, wait, isn't that a free juicer on b7 now? Because you don't have rook b8? Or does he want c5 and rook b8, maybe? No, like I said, it's it, it's pawn? pure nepo. He, he might go three pawns down. But... He's just going to go... Yeah, but this can't be right because he needs the f5, f4 break as well. He needs too many moves here. So if Timur takes a, takes b7, I think he's going to be winning. I don't like bishop e4 at all, by the way, because that now at some moment, f5 is going to come with a tempo on the bishop. Apparently, we already have Anna at 98.5. What? <laughs> wow. We're just refilling my water bottle. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Community's capable of good things when it comes together. See, today, today we've got Hikaru here, so everyone's on Pog O uh, deficit. They've they've uh, they, they've drained their Pog O's. They're they can't Pog O us. So oh no, there they come. But now we love you guys, and uh, we are yeah, now ninety eight point five, fifteen hundred to go. Thank you so much, everyone. This three hundred dollars away from hitting three hundred and fifty thousand. Who's gonna do wow. it? Huh? Three hundred dollars. What is this? Three hundred dollars, guys, to make it to three fifty. <laughs> three fifty. We started at a hundred thousand goal, and that goal already seemed like a huge one, and now it's three hundred and fifty. I mean, we had we had Bodhi here, who just, I mean, he got in. You know, he started talking to the chess community, and you know, we did a lesson. Maybe I don't even know when that was at this point. A week ago, ten days ago, and the man just pulled up today and dropped two thousand dollars as part of this. And thank you, Bodhi. Wild. Two hundred. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. Yeah. What a day. What a day. And it's still going. It's still going. And and listen, the chess has been has been amazing too. Okay, well, never mind. MVL and Wesley are playing a Berlin, so I'm gonna go back to this other game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean this game is very exciting because I think Timur again, if he takes the juicer, he's winning. But he's resisted taking this pawn on B7. Like he's resisted like three times already, but he's gotta take it now, surely. 
Surely he's got to take the pawn. What? Oh, he wants c6, queen, g5, maybe, and force the queens off the board? Uh-huh. Right. Look yeah, actually, you know what? This is looking very good. I think Timur is in great, great shape here to win the game. He's I... in great shape to win this game now. Like, doesn't rook g4 look good? Rook g4 and rook g1 just double up the line? Why did he go rook h6? What is he trying to attack? I think he just wants to take h2. Two, but it's like you put the rook out of play yeah, like, and you still take with the queen anyway, so it's kind of weird. Or does he want to move the queen back and take with the rook? I don't know. At any rate, I think after rook g4 here, white's got to be winning. Or rook g5, rook g... I mean, some combination of the double stack has to be winning. But he's thinking too long again. He's just being too slow. Like, this is the problem. In these critical moments, I mean, this is where the blitz experience really does play a big role, is when you've had a lot of experience playing blitz, these moves come much more naturally. He's just too slow. He might just lose. He might even lose this, honestly. Yeah, see, now he, he cracks. He should have played h4 there, I think. Okay. <sighs> Tough Crazy. position. I mean, again, I still I still think it's it's obviously better for white, but black's going to get g6, h5, and play on the king side, and there's no guarantee that, that this is winning. Okay, that looks like a terrible move. I think rook g1 now should be winning. There's got to be some sack, no? Or maybe... Whoa, what? <laughs> this has been an epic day. This has been a, a, an, an epic day. No, but the problem is now your king's going to become open on d3. Like, this is this should be winning somehow again. Oh, bishop h7 and rookie 4. Bishop h7. Bishop takes h7 and rookie 4 was winning. Ooh. Uh, and he missed it, and now... Well, now he had oh a my second God. opportunity to do it. They have was winning somehow? They traded the rooks and then the rook went to d8. There was a teleporting rook. Yeah, but I mean, the problem is it's actually easier for black to play than white to play. Oh my gosh, d takes c5. Oh, the yeah, king yeah, on I... d3. <laughs> yeah, that? this is... Uh-oh. Hikaru, this is oh. prime Nepo, as you say. This yeah, is queen like... Queen c4, queen c4. Yeah, king f1. F4? Queen H4, F4, right? F4, 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 F4. Yep, there it is. This is 5 plus 3, right? 5 plus 3, yep. Yeah, so... Oh, man. I, I feel like this game, every single move, it, it changes. Oh, okay, my God. to draw. You just take, yeah. Whoa, can you won. Wait, okay. you take E5? What? Couldn't he just take on E5? Oh, he plays bishop g2, queen g1, queen f... Uh... Oh, no, that's it. Bishop c3. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there's bishop c3 also. He just hung yeah. mate. He hung mate. Nepo wins. Oh, my. What a game. That's it. It's mate because uh, king d1... First of all, there's a hanging rook, and, but it's better to get mate in one. So, And also better than winning a queen like this. Mm -hmm. so, and then winning the rook. It's better to mate in this position. <laughs> And, and and just winning all your pieces. That is unbelievable. Nepo has just come back twice and is, is a draw away from qualifying to the semifinal. Who would have thought after that position that he had in the final rapid game in the King's Indian, from White's perspective, it looked like a nightmare position to play. Yeah, uh, that is... That's crazy. Guys, I'm going to fill up uh, my water, but I have mm -hmm. the NVL versus Wesley game up on the sure. screen still. But I will be right back. Sure. Um, Hikaru, what do you yeah. think about this endgame when it comes to how... Let's let's do odds again, um, or, or percentages, that it will be a draw, what, how likely that is. I think it's pretty likely. I, th I think it's easier to play for Wesley, perhaps, but I think it should be a draw with correct play here. Uh, maybe rookie mm -hmm. D1 and then B3 and C4. Mm -hmm. Um... That that's that's what I think makes sense. It it should be should should be should be a draw. I think very likely a draw. And if this is a draw, that will mean that the next blitz game, that's colors reverse, Wesley with the white pieces against MVL. Do you think that Wesley uh will play solid? Will he what what would be in your opinion his strategy if this game is a draw and they have one more blitz game or an Armageddon? <laughs> I mean, I think the thing is Maxime plays aggressive. He plays a knight or openings like this. So I don't think Wesley is in a spot where he can force a draw, although Wesley is the higher seeded player. So if they draw mm -hmm. both games, Wesley does get to choose the color in the final yeah. game. That will play a very big role, I think, um, as far as what happens in the second game, potentially. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, also, and we've just hit three hundred and fifty thousand dollars and increased our goal to four hundred and twenty thousand. I hope you are ready for that, Hikaru. I hope you are ready that we need to hit yet another goal. It's amazing. Yeah, this is crazy. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who have been donating this goes to those who need it a lot more than us. As we said, CARE is a first responder to global crisis. They are present in a hundred countries supporting communities uh, when it comes to fighting poverty, hunger, and malnutrition. All of this support will go to the right place and to this cause, uh, which hopefully in the future will not be uh, an issue. And it hopefully one day we, we can stop uh, fundraising for it because we will have solved it by then one day, hopefully. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. That, no, that, would, that would be great. It'd be great. Wow. Oh, but by the way, since the chat is wondering why I was shaking my head, I was shaking my head more because to me, it's amazing. Um, and this isn't, this isn't kind of a roast, but like, it's amazing to me how at times it seems like Nepo plays such bad chess and he finds a way to get away with it. So that's the reason mm -hmm. I was shaking my head, um, to be clear. So you think that he wasn't playing very well in the rapid games or also in this blitz game, you think it was Well, I mean, he was, complete, he was completely lost in the rapid game and he was also completely yeah. lost in this game as well. So to me, it's, it, that's actually kind of shocking. Um, uh, what did someone says Magnus just tweeted? I'll, I'll we'll take a look at that later. You guys, not not this very again, second, but but anyway, um, the I think I think Maxime is maybe better here if he can get the king to g3 and go f4, but I don't know if he can. I think we've got our producer back so we can move the pieces and draw arrows because that's uh, in Levy's control. What? Mm -hmm. I was just saying that now we can draw arrows and, and show the moves uh, uh, uh. that we were discussing. I was like, is the board frozen? I was like, I hope not. No, okay. no, no, no. Everything no. is fine, but it's easier if we can illustrate the ideas with arrows on the board. Yeah, it's going to be a draw. Although, is it going to be a draw? Because there's knight d3, knight takes e1, and long term of the end game, black, white can put the pawns all on dark squares on a3, b2, c3, and the white bishop or the black bishop uh, is just looking at empty sp empty squares. Uh, the wholesomeness uh, just keeps uh, continuing on on Twitter too. Magnus tweeted again, and I think that's yet another tweet that we will need to read out. He tweeted, on a lighter note, Daniel just wrote to me. Daniel is Daniel Dubov, his opponent. Daniel just wrote to me to cheer me up after beating me and apologize for his celebration on air. I told him I did not see it, and it would upset me more when people stop celebrating after beating me. Congrats to a most worthy opponent and great dude. Mm. I, I I mean, hasn't everyone done that when they've beaten Magnus? Kind of. Yeah, most people get. I mean, I think in general, like if you if you have I mean, such maybe, a maybe tense. Wesley, I thought Wesley did too, but I mean, I I'm pretty. I don't. Maybe I didn't show it as much, but I definitely celebrated as well. So yeah. Yeah, as, as you guys know, Dani Daniel and Magnus are good friends, and Magna and uh, Dubov has worked um, for Team Magnus for the 2018 mm -hmm. World Championship match, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's back on Team Magnus for upcoming World Championship matches too. Mm -hmm. True, true. But by the way, um, I don't. I guess this game is a draw, but I, I think it's it's harder to play here for Maxime than than Wesley because of this um, where this knight is. It's very awkward on e5 here. Yeah, this is. Um... I, I still, I still think I prefer to be white though, long term, because when the time gets really low, the bishop is the pawns are on dark square, so the bishop can't attack any of the pawns. So even though I think black is okay, if they get down to like a time scramble where both players have like twenty seconds, I think the knight is better than the bishop. I don't like rook eight at all, by the way. I think white can go like knight c four maybe or knight to seven. Feels like there should be a knight jump. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. Maybe just, actually no. Maybe you just go king g three and f four even because rook a five is not really a big threat. Whoa, what is that? Rook e eight, knight c four, b five, rook e six. Okay, you're you're no. you're saying that it's it's white who's pressuring here because I black think is... white is definitely better now because the the knight comes around right. But can't isn't this what's going on in this end game? So you go rook, rook takes right. Now, mm -hmm. bishop. Oh no, you take the bishop. They're checking rook c seven. Ah, uh, rook c seven, knight ninety six. Yeah, I mean ninety eight. I, mean, I think I, I think you have to take with the rook as this end game with the pawns on the dark squares on the on the queen side. You have to assume the knight is better than the bishop. 
but Wesley's going to think here for a little bit, I think, before before deciding. Um, uh, do you want uh, to look at Timor and Jan? Because that one just started. No, no, let's leave it here. The, the, this this is critical. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a big uh, we're gonna have fireworks very soon. I don't think this is gonna be. I don't think this is a clear draw. And this is why Wesley's thinking because he's trying to figure out: can he take with the bishop, or does he have to take with the rook? And uh, he does take with the rook. Rajabov has gone for a hippo. With oh right, he's black exactly. Yeah, with the hippopotamus. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, he's going yep. for the hippo setup with knight e seven. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's what you do. Keep all the p. Okay, or knight f six. Knight pieces on five at some point. Yeah. P keep the pieces on. Keep the structure. Mm -hmm. So Rajabov is in a must-win situation. He has to win the game with the black pieces in order to tie the score and earn the right to play an Armageddon. If this is a draw. Or white wins, then uh, there's no more games, no Armageddon. Sure. But uh, Nepomnia, she will move on to the semifinals. Yeah, and um... I'm. I think MVL might be better here. He's going to go f4, and the, you can't get the king in, and the pawns are on dark squares. I, it, I think that this is really an unpleasant position to have. I think if you're if you're Wesley here, like Hikaru, we're in f4. The meta of the Berlin. Is it this? Is it the fact that long term, if black moves the king to the queen side, they have a four on three, but with the doubled C pawns, white's majority on the king side is better? Is that like a. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, Precisely. so that's. Okay. There you go. We're all learning today. I just. I don't know. I, I don't. I, I feel like in the past uh, several months, whenever we all of us see a Berlin, we're just kind of like, ah. Uh, Again, well, you, you know what's funny? I was thinking about this the other day. I think the Berlin is a great opening in, in classical chess and in rapid chess, but I think in Blitz sometimes it's not a good opening because if you ever get into these end games, they become really unpleasant and hard to play. So he goes King C7 now. Can you go Knight? No, Knight of Five. Wait, can you go Knight of Five here and play an end game? Oh, doubling his own pawns, but F4. Ooh, 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 and this is why the four pawns, when you have double stack pawns in an end game, it's really bad because you can't use them to make a majority and create a lane to, for a pass pawn here. This might be losing for Wesley. I think this is losing probably with correct play. Wesley's got to find some way to create counterplay on the queen side, but I don't see it here. And the F pawn is just too advanced. Yeah, he's going to give up the pawn, but I mean, I think it's too advanced. I think the F pawn rules the day. It's too close to the end of the board. Rook e6, rook h6. This should be winning for white with correct play here. It's everything you called. You straight up called this like 30 moves ago. Right. <laughs> like, or not 30, but like 20 moves ago. Yeah, yeah. it's completely winning. It's completely now, mind winning. you, Levy, I'm a little bit behind you. So when I say these moves, actually, I'm watching a stream at the same time. I don't see it. Oh, yeah, I, th I thought you were looking in live chess. You you could be... Yeah, I thought so too. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, true. Okay, you could live exactly. action. Yeah, you could live action call it <laughs> yeah. if you want yeah, to. Yeah, sorry. Okay, let me log in. I'm not logged in. Oh, Wait, you're why, right. did he, why did he take the pawn? He Although, yeah, to go F6. Why did now, he, now, now there's a pass pawn for black. Yeah, now black can get the B pawns. Uh-oh, I, I, he might have underestimated this. Or missed it, I don't know. Or maybe he's just going to go King G5. You think so? Or F6, King F5, I, I don't know, but w one way or another. Apparently, it's, apparently he's messed it up. Apparently, this is fine this for Wesley now. Draw. Yeah, it's just, it's, I mean, the, the rook is too active, right? Yeah, no, no, I mean, he really did mess this up. Crazy. Insane. Yeah, I mean, this is why I thought, like, it was a little bit, it was a little bit crazy to open, um, to open it up like this. Because, I, I mean, like, the thing is that um, at the start of this, like, after B4, you just leave the pawns there. You leave them glued because it takes forever for black to create a pass pawn. And, I mean, I don't know what the winning method was, but taking on B4 felt very wrong to me. Chat, you saw nothing. Uh, check on E8, <laughs> and um, I just tried to put egg in my mouth and drawing, dropped yeah. it all over the place. It was amazing. Um, just when we were called wait professionals, a second, wait, wait, wait a second, we have a game again. H4, H5, H6 is coming. Uh oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh my good. Oh, and King E7. And King, he just lost it. Oh, Wesley what? just blew it. He loses the game. What? Unreal. Oh my gosh. Oh, Wesley. Oh, Wesley. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Crazy. Absolutely insane. Wow. MVL has a one nothing lead. All right. Wow. Back to this game, which uh, Rajabov is better. <laughs> Wait, as I say that, 
what is bishop g5 why didn't he go knight e5 or take the knight e5 look good there oh my god what is happening here he did go for this look at this look at this king side attack this is insane man what a, what yeah why did he go bishop g5 what was he trying to do i don't, I don't understand what bishop g5 i mean i saw knight f4 was a threat but i thought you just go knight e5 and just go all in you know ale 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 just just go for it this is a, this yeah is but i mean of... this is just great for white queen h5 i assume yeah very <sighs> strange but this, you, this, by the way, is why I will always love Blitz more because it's so much more dramatic than Rapid Chess. But it's optically, like, this, this looks fun. Optically, this looks absolutely horrifying for for Black. Can, can but... you go King D seven? I was gonna go King D seven, <laughs> and like actually, you know, rookie eight. is that not thematic for some hippo positions to move a king? Like just move Whoa, it one square. E five. Wow, this is wow. And if you take there's Knight G four and Knight E five, maybe Queen F. Whoa, how do you do this? Black oh is God. better here somehow. I don't. This even is crazy. How. Oh, do you just take a queen g seven and castle? Maybe that doesn't look right. Why can't you take on d six? Am I blind? Is there Some... bishop e three and rook g two? Oh my God! <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that works, but like it's this is crazy sharp. Uh, he did it. Oh my God! You're right. Bishop e three is the only bishop winning e3. move. What? Is he gonna find it? Oh my god, bishop e3. Oh my god, disconnecting the rook from the e6 pawn too. And hitting d4, f2, rook g2. Does Nepo have a trick? It? I don't see it. What am I missing? Bishop e3, do you go d7? But I mean, you have to do it. Bishop e3 is the only move. He's got two minutes to find it. Two minutes. It's not... It's, it's not, not a hard an move to see. Yeah, I mean, for... Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, Hikaru saw it in two seconds. So... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. So Hikaru, easy, if you saw it, right? if, easy, Tris. Hikaru, if it took you all of two seconds to find it, is it difficult? No, I don't think it's difficult because you see that the queen shields, uh, the queen blocks the pin of the king. So you, you're going to think, where can I move the bishop to play rook takes g2, discover check, and win the queen? So, oh so yeah. But I mean, he's got to, he's got to find it. I mean, oh, everybody's... on the board. Oh man, here we go. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. So the threat is literally queen f2, queen g2 mate. That is the threat. Insane. The That's second just... threat is rook takes g2, winning the queen by virtue of a discovered attack. This is just completely insane. This is just game over, isn't it? What do you do? d7, king takes d7. If you take e6, knight e6. Knight g4? Knight g4 here? Oh no, you can push d7 and then... No, but knight g4, then I take f2 with the bishop and there's still rook g2. Knight g4 and king h1? <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is, this is all pretty insane. So we'll see what happens. I, I saw bishop f2, but I was like, I, I don't see anything else. g3, there's rook takes g3. Oh, there's also By queen the f2. Let me, you know what else I realized? If you go d7, king d7, knight h4, maybe I can go queen takes f2, knight f2, rook g2. Oh, if you, ew. If you If you throw in the d7 check. Yeah, you ha I think you have to go d7 because it, it, it destabilizes black's position. Like, Black has to choose what to do after... No, no, Nepo will play d7, of course. Isn't he, like, the master of chaos? Shouldn't he play d7? True. Very true. Uh, he can't take with the pawn, guys, because, like we said, there's two threats. There's rook down and queen down. You cannot allow mm -hmm. either of those things to happen. Yeah. Yeah, like, pawn takes bishop, there's rook takes pawn with a check on the king, and then you lose your queen on h5 on, on, the, on the corner. Yeah, I mean, Yana's is going to have to burn a lot of time here looking for something. By the way, Fide respo responded to uh, that tweet uh, saying, give us a heads up next time and we will be happy to help. Apparently, the International Chess Federation of Chess uh, also you. wants to mm -hmm. promote our fundraising efforts. Thank you so much for that. And this will be a feature in the upcoming events too. So this was the first of many. We hope that it was the first of many charity streams that we can do together mm -hmm. with the rest of you guys. This community is mind-blowing and we're going to try to give back and try to help communities of children and families that are in need when it comes to fighting poverty, hunger, and malnutrition. That will be our goal for future events too, I believe. Am I insane here? Can't you take with the king and then go go knight g4, queen f2? I, I think you're right. I feel bad because Anna just had this like very passionate... <laughs> I'm sorry, I know we no, need to I... focus on the moves, but I just wanted to say on a side note, this is the, not the last charity stream you have seen from us. Yes, it's actually, we did not expect this. So, you know, really, so many of you should be, should be proud to be part of this community. Uh, we're just here hyping it up and 
you know, Hikaru obviously using the uh, the influence and the channel size that he has and the community that he has. So it's all so good. We just... Be... Sorry, yeah, Rookie 1, you castle, right? This is still so wildly unclear. Uh, you want Ooh. you want Long Castle. I think so. I, I mean, I, I don't know. This is crazy. Castle Queenside, a move 25 to get out of the e-file. Yeah. Also, Anna is uh, 900 followers away from 100k. What so a day! Cool. I cannot believe it. No, this is. Uh, can someone pinch me that this is happening? Like how? Like the whole thing, the whole day. The only thing that was missing is that Hikaru qualifies to the semi. So let's let that didn't happen. But we're gonna we have earned Hikaru as a commentator for the rest of the broadcast. So I know this is not what we wanted, but you guys will have him every single day from now on. Uh Rookie six, queen f seven, rookie one, king h two, rookie four. Is that no, was gonna... ninety six. And oh, but ninety six, <laughs> you just take the take the knights off. <laughs> I'm oh just trying God. to pick Hikaru's brain here. No, no, yeah, but you this could is play... gonna happen. You, rookie four, ninety six, you just take the knight because g two hangs. Yeah, rookie yeah. four, ninety six, and you just take. I called it. Over. Oh my gosh, you found it too! Wow. Yay. Ninety <laughs> seven. I found it. Yay. Wait, aren't the knights getting discombobulated here a little bit? Or maybe you have knight of two. Wow, this is this is insane. See, the problem is in this game is that if you find one good thing, you have to find like six more good things, right? It's one of those games. Right. King B8. Ooh. Wow. Crazy. Why did he do that? It's just a... I assume it's just to free up your knight, maybe avoid some tricks or something. I don't know. But this is definitely winning for black. Like knight E5 and knight G4. You want to trade off one of the horses. If you trade off the horses... Uh, just one set of horses and the bishop on b7 dominates the knight on d4 because it cuts the whole diagonal here but what didn't a... he have knight g4 instead of b takes a5 i thought knight g4 was a better move maybe not i don't know well at this point they're both uh, they have three second bonus time chat so remember no one's uh, no one's losing on time mm -hmm. okay now you have to go knight g4 right Yep. Oh, knight f3? That's a good move, I think. Rookie 2, rook takes b2, and run that run that bad boy down the board. Rookie 2? Yeah, rookie 2, and then rook takes b2 and a4, a3, and your pawn's too fast. This is unbelievable. This is going to go to an arm again. Most likely. I mean, it's, it's not clear <clears> yet. <throat> I mean, maybe c4, he'll hang the rook on b2, but I don't think so. Okay, h4. Bishop d5 four? and rook g8 and rook h2? Oh, very nice idea. Yeah, bishop d5. Very nice idea. Yeah, bishop d5 here looks like a good move. Rook b6. Okay. Why is he doing that exactly? I don't know why he pushed the pawn. He could have just done it right. Oh, but maybe he's worried about queen g5 and swinging the queen. So I was oh. saying bishop d5 to go rook g8 defended by the bishop, and then it cuts the king, and you can use the other. Queen I mean, e8, I... queen e8. Oh, no, queen e8. Oh, he missed queen e8, queen a4. Whoa. Oh, he did. Yeah, whoa. Um... Now I think he's just losing, right? Because knight d4, you take c3. Yeah, and you're going to get c5 to lever the knight, and then the whole house the house collapses. <clears throat> yeah, king a7, of course. Well, Rajabov has to not flag, rook by d5, the way. Rook d5, rook d5, rook d5, gg, rook d5, rook d5. Or not? No, a3. Oh, a3. very nice, though. Yeah. I think a2 just wins, right? You don't even need to move the you rook because the pawn promotes. Can, yeah. Yeah. He gives a check first, and then he will push the pawn, and there's a new queen on the board. The white cannot stop the A-pass pawn. Oh, he plays rook A5 first just to make sure. Knight C8 yeah, check. I guess he'll okay. take it. Take and bishop rook, C, rook B7, right? Okay, goes rook C6. Oh, you know he's just going to go rook C5. He's just going to plant the rooks on A5 and C5, oh. and they just hold. Rook and C5 then push the A-pawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just rook C5 and create like this barrier or whatever you call it. Yeah, just rook C5 and then A2. Yeah, he can play that or give a check and push and yeah, A2 overall. And then rook C5, yeah. yeah, A2 is <clears throat> it's game over. What a comeback by Timur Rajabov, winning on demand to earn an Armageddon. So the blitz is tied one one, and we're gonna get to see an Armageddon between these two. This is crazy, mm -hmm. and it, it doesn't stop. I mean, Wesley now has to beat MVL. Right, to... I forgot. Yeah, that's true. That's, true. <laughs> that's yeah. another blitz game. And he's better. Follow, indeed. And he's better in the opening, and he's really created some good chances here for himself. I don't like. I don't like this though. If I'm being honest, I don't. I don't like it for Wesley because it feels to me like it's very 
it's very thematic. Like it feels like blacks moves come easily. Whites moves don't come easily here. So I, I actually don't like this. If I'm, this, I'm just saying. Is mm -hmm. this theory? This looks like some weird. Oh, wait, sorry. Actually, I, I revised my assessment. White, white is much better. I didn't realize it was a, it was a pawn. White's just oh. up a pawn here. I, I just thought it was really? even pawns. But yeah, white's up a pawn. I did not right? notice that because that, One, two, three, that five, pawn six. on D3. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's an extra pawn. Yeah, yeah it's, there's an oh. extra pawn. So white is, uh, white is definitely better. So where did they deviate from theory? I'm looking at the database. And... The positions are so weird. The English is so weird. And there, there was an early H4. He played H4 and moved five. Right now, what I don't yeah. know is why why hasn't um has why hasn't Maxine played Queen D five yet? Mm. Uh, Queen. Oh, Queen F three, Queen A two, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Queen D five seems like a very obvious move here. But again, it, they both have three minutes, so we're not at the spot where they have to move instantly. Okay, Queen D seven. It's a very strange move. I don't understand that at all. Because queen f3 and queen h3, uh, but you lose a pawn on g2. Queen d7 does not look right to me somehow. I understand that, like, Maxime's trying to play for themes. He wants to go bishop b7 and bring his rook to the center and argue that his king is very safe. Um, so, so queen f3, bishop b7 played. So now queen g3, of course. Rook e5, wow. So he wants to go queen h4, rook h5. If you try to checkmate down the h file. Yeah, queen h4, queen h7's mate, by the way. Correct. Chat. <laughs> this is, that's mate. f4, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this game's getting very wild. I, I don't like, I don't like what Maxime has done, though. I, I really, I don't, I don't like the, um, it just doesn't feel very comfortable. Hey, can we just address the fact that out of three Blitz games, the only Blitz games we've seen so far this tournament, all three have been decisive? Speed chess mm -hmm. is the future. I mean, this one's going to be decisive, too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely looking like that. Yeah, and he blunt he had to go, I think he had to go rook h5 or something, but I mean it's just so bad. Wow. F5 is a Crazy. terrifying move. What a move. This is amazing. This, this, this is this is cool chess. It's not necessarily perfect, but that's what makes it beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's like Imperfection is beauty in and in and of itself. Yeah. Um, Why isn't all chess blitz? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the rapid was interesting too, but with the previous format that 16 players start and half of them qualify. You were right. right I think agreed. about that. He carried 12. It was if, less competitive. If, uh, if Wesley plays queen h3 here, by the way, I think he just wins on the spot. Right. Because there's no rook mm -hmm. h5. Oh exactly. my gosh. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's not even to take the rook. That's the easy yeah. way out, but, but oh, he's just unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, it's game over. I mean, what are you, knight f5 now, yeah. maybe? Yeah, just knight f5. I mean, if... this, this has to be winning. The only thing that's funny about Oops. the Zen game is there, there's was... pawn on d3, which is kind of annoying. But I mean, technically speaking, I mean, Wesley is such a good attacking player. He'll find a way to unwind this and win the game. Rook f1. Wesley yeah, I mean, has really an extreme... I was going to ask you, Wesley has an extremely solid playing style, but he mm -hmm. he is... is uh, sorry. good? I mean, I'm sure uh, it's all winning, but it doesn't, I don't. Ah, it's not queen g6. He wants rook g6. That's what he wants. It's not, I thought he wanted queen g6, but he wants rook g6. Yeah, so it's just winning. What were you saying about Wesley? You said Wesley's a really good attacking player. So just the fact that he plays solidly at times out of practicality, it doesn't take away from his style and skill. Like, it's... I mean, I, th I think I think when he gets the position that that's sort of is really about attacking, he plays it well. Um, I mean, if it's not a position that's for, I don't think naturally he's an attacking player, but when he gets a position, and especially in a situation like this where it's must win, he has to go all in, of course he's going to play very aggressively and play play attacking chess. Because if he, if he doesn't win, he's just, he's done. So, I mean, I, I expect him to win this game pretty soon. Um, no, you guys, Wesley does not qualify because he lost the first Blitz game. So if he wins this game, it's only tied and there's going to be another Armageddon game. We can't wait. We can't wait for another Armageddon. So both matches are heading to an Armageddon. Nepomnesh and Rajabu will be starting their Armageddon mm -hmm. soon. Nepomnesh, she has the right to choose oh, the color. Um, so we <laughs> shall see which one he picks. Bishop F8, beautiful. Nice move. Very nice move by Wesley. And yeah, this is this is just over. 
Yeah, rook personally, I would have actually I would have taken with the queen just to get queens off the board. But I mean, the king on e6 is so open here, and the king on e1 actually is completely safe. Yep. Because your your rook on b1 just just keeps it really comfy. What is the finishing touch? Is it going to be rook b4, rook d4? Uh, that's one move, but I think just queen h7 and just infiltrate on the seventh seventh rank. I'm not gonna lie; I didn't even see that move. Yeah, I I just I is, I mean is there... I, I mean I think rook b4, rook e4 wins, for mm. example. But even queen h7 and just keep yeah, I mean everything wins. So it's just a it's it's matter it's matter of choice. Okay, now queen h7 and just infiltrate on the seventh and. See when this. I mean, when you join us, I mm -hmm. I just. It's like the teacher is in the classroom watching you take the test. So I just only like, <laughs> I only look at the test, you know, I just focus and I want to, I, you bring the best out of like me personally. Cause I'm like, right, I got to focus. Oh. I can't look too dumb, you know? So I, that's what, that's what I feel right. like it's uh, Anna. Should we do that from now on when Hikaru is not here? Should we like only focus on like the deepest analysis and, and it's hard. It's like a different vibe and Wesley wins. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, he has just yeah. one on demand. So there will be another Armageddon, two Armageddons to finish the day. What a day it has been. $352,000 raised and it keeps going. It has not stopped. Mm -hmm. This is insane. I think we have about five minutes, right? Until they start an Armageddon game. I think now so. What well, color wait, there's the other Armageddon guys... game, though. Yeah, I guess Nepomnishi and Rajeva will start there soon. What color do you think Hikaru uh, Nepomnishi will go for? He has the right to I choose. Think, I think Jan made the right choice, considering the fact that Timur seems a little bit slower and um, he's not playing, he's, he's just, he has a little bit less experience. I think Jan picking white is definitely the right choice, especially because Jan is not a solid player with either color. Like, he's gonna, the game's going to get very messy. Um, so I think stylistically, because of that, Jan is definitely right to pick, pick white here, all things considered. He's but Wesley will will like two thousand percent pick black. Make no mistake about it. Wesley is picking black. Makes sense. I think Wesley's only. He's way what? I think Wesley's beaten MVL three times with white, but I don't remember. But it's the same thing you had. You like won a few games with white. You still chose black in the Armageddon because it's yeah, of course. I mean, you just have to play the odds. Odds dictate that with black, um, you're probably going to, the game is going to be a draw like 70% ish. So odds generally dictate black. But in a situation like Jan's, where neither player is playing solid, they're both playing very aggressive chess. Um, and and Rat Timur has been a little bit slow at critical times throughout this match. It, it makes perfect sense to pick white. So I, I like Jan picking white. Also, Jan is very fast. So in that situation, I think it makes sense. Now, me personally, I still would pick black, but, um, but in this case, I understand why Jan picked white. It's confirmed, think, right? Wait, wait, who's the higher seed? I don't know because they're fourth and fifth. I, I think it's Nepo. Oh. It's Nepo Nishi. Yeah, he finished fourth, okay, so, so he, he is did. the one okay. choosing. Mm -hmm. And a quick update on our final giveaway that in just a few minutes, we will be mm -hmm. announcing the winners. Every donation that was $25 or above has entered that giveaway. The final giveaway is five chess boards signed by Hikaru. The value, impossible to express in numbers. Millions. Because you're going to win all your games that you play on that board. That's the exactly. value. Of course, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, how, you know, that's how osmosis works. So if I, if I went and you know, I, I sat next to Levy while he was streaming, his rating would, at Bullet would magically become 3,200. <laughs> what would, would happen to you? 2,800. <laughs> <laughs> well let's, let's we don't we don't believe in science we only believe in science when it's when it works for us right 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 okay fair fair yeah. fair okay yeah fair 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 it's only yeah. it, it's only it's only you only like get from the best it's not it's not in reverse um yeah i mean when i say it it's right when anybody else says it it's not right so yeah it's five minutes versus four and they're already <laughs> going they're going yeah yeah wow <laughs> nepo plays into this again yeah this will be fun Wow. So this is an Armageddon. For those of you who don't know what the format is, why it starts with five minutes and black has four minutes only. There's no increment, but in case of a draw, the player with the black pieces will move on to the next stage. So black has draw odds, but less time. Correct, yes. I see uh, Dono still coming in. We're almost at throw. We just crossed 353,000. In this format, my friends, this is the only version where there is no Flip the board. bonus time. Flip the board, flip the board. It's you, you sure? <laughs> okay, okay. It's, it's a not a. Indian. It's but it's not a vintage King's Indian with like a. It's a King's, King's Indian. It's a King's Indian. 
<laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's just Q and El Timon. Um, battling it out here. That's it. This is the final game. We've had enough. <laughs> they fought long enough. Someone has to go... Uh, uh, well, I was going to say go home. I keep saying go home, but stay home. Stay <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> Since it's just uh, online, yeah. Yeah, except for Magnus, who apparently is in the Seychelles, uh, Seychelles Island. I think I think it's Seychelles, right? Or am I mispronouncing it? Yeah, it... I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but nice place. I have not been there. only seen pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't actually... Uh... I'm not actually fully aware. Okay, and Nepo twice now has gotten... Wait, can't you just take and go 96? Wait, what? Isn't that just a blunder? Just take on D4 and go 96. <gasps> Isn't that just a blunder? Or am oh, I yeah. yeah. 96 yeah. is happening? Bishop D6, Knight D4. Oops. Oh, oh my god. I mean, Both queens mind, are you, really... mind you, it's not clear cut. You still go Queen D... No, Queen D2, Queen F6, Bishop E3. So, okay. wow, Rajab of Wally needs a draw with the black pieces is winning an exchange here, winning the rook for a knight. But you got a powerful bishop on the diagonal, so it's not and, it's not all sun and, sun and roses. And if C5, Knight D5, so it's not so... Right. It's not so easy to kick it out. No, I think B3, like, bring the bishop back to B2, yeah. Imagine he wins this game. This is prime Nepo right here. This is a prime Nepo game. Oh my god, I he love just... G5. I love G5. It's so in the spirit of the of the Benoni and the King's Indian. Just to stop F4. Mm-hmm. Beautiful move. Now I think F5 makes sense, actually. Just try to open it up. F5 or, like, or maybe Bishop E6 here. I don't like F6, because now can't White go F4 at some moment? Okay, so I think he's going to go bishop e6 and go like knight g6 and knight f4 at some point. A time situation is still good for Timor. Um, Can white go g3 f4? Just sack a pawn? Or well, even you hang... Eh, you could. I think it's too early. So, so what I would say is when you're in an Armageddon game with white especially, what you want to do is you want to keep the game going. You want to prolong it as long as you can. Um, okay, I don't know if I like Jan doing this. He's grabbing a pawn on the edge, but it gives black time to consolidate everything in the center here. I mean, you do have knight a4, maybe. Okay, it goes bishop f1. So, okay. And I think as the game goes, we're going to be announcing names. We have the first winner of one of the boards, one of the magical boards, and that is Model Pod. Model Pod, you will be contacted through the email that you have given. Thank you so much for participating. There will be four more prizes, four more. Thank you. Back to the game, back to the yes. game. D4! It's getting so, so dicey. I think white's fine here. Like, I'm worried about knight d5 and queen takes h5. Oh no, this doesn't look right somehow. Although maybe you just take and go king g. Oh, but there's bishop takes c5. This is like hanging on a thread here, is what I would say. It's like this is very much hanging on a thread. If Timor can get can get like um get like queen h get some kind of attack on the king side, I think he's gonna win. In fact, actually, how do you stop queen h7, king f7, and rook h8? Yeah, I was just about to because say. Because you never have g3, because there's always knight f3. So how are you just stopping this very simple plan? Okay, queen h7. Just go, mm -hmm. go. Get it, get it to the open file. Queen h7, king f7, rook h8. Finish the game. He plays queen g7. Was that a slip? Oh, he wants to go for this with knight f3. Is that, is that a threat? Can he do oh, that? Oh, true, true, true. Good point, Anna. That's actually legitimately a good point. Oh. Okay. What? <laughs> knight f3 is probably winning here isn't it is it knight f3 check knight f3 takes takes king f1 bishop h3 oh my god what just bishop happened bishop f7 queen g1 no no that, that was crazy. winning wasn't it it looked like apparently, he must have had something yeah, it's just there winning by force. yeah knight f3 is winning by force apparently the best move after bishop to e2 was the move queen to h8 what? Ah, also, also move. Yeah, I saw queen h6 oh was a move too. But anyway, whatever. The game goes on. Um, That's unbelievable. No, but Timur's misplayed this. He's 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 still he's still doing well, but it's uh, he's misplayed this. Queen h8 sure. is insane. Until we are waiting for his move, we have a second winner of another signboard, Minimac ninety nine. You have also won that magical board that will win you every single game you play on it. Thank you so much for participating. Yeah, no. Uh, if, if it doesn't, it's not. It, you can't sue us <laughs> because we are le le yeah, legally absolved from many. Yeah, Timor. I don't like. I think he's. I think he's going to lose this game. Unfortunately, I think the time is going to play a big role here. It's just okay. So queen g five. Yeah. So go back. Oh, Nepo can't repeat. No, like, but, but I mean, but the thing is, Timur just doesn't have the time. That's the problem. 
Yeah, the 40 seconds here play a role. And, and then we're going to get the angry threads about Armageddon and whatnot. Right, but I mean, it's still good. It's still good for Tamar. King f7, queen f4, king f7, and then go to the h file again. He just has to speed up because time management has been his issue, and there's no increment mm -hmm. in this one. There's no increment. Now, no. if they're smart, they're not going to start the other Armageddon, right, until this one's done. But I, I just I pulled it up. Who, who cares? So, yeah. king g7. Yep, good move uh, for h8, queen h5. It's 15 seconds. It's getting closer. Yeah, I mean, I, this, is get, this is getting very close to the point where Jan is... is... Okay, you take with the D pawn, of course, I guess. Or do you take with the F pawn? I actually don't know which way you take. He takes with the D pawn. It's a little bit iffy. A little bit iffy. Okay, so you trade. But now it's back to 30 seconds. I mean, how do you... So take on D5. Take on D5 and go King G7. Or King F7, I mean. I think this should be fine. I, I don't really see how... How can... um How can... Nepo can put the bishop on c4. That's the best thing he can do, right? Why isn't black winning after king e7, rook b8, b5? He oh. is winning. Okay, so now d6? Rook d8. Okay, rook d8. Now, now Timur is going to win the game. Rook d8, c4, and then rook a8. Is he going to find it? Wow. Very nice. Oh my gosh. Quality play from Timur. Very uh, quality he did. play. He's, he and has he 46 seconds. Yep. And his king is monitoring the d-pawn from ever becoming a queen. He's got the right color complex. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you and... just wait. You just wait, basically. Oh, and you don't even have wait. to win necessarily, right? You could flag him with the rook, yeah. although it's... Okay, put the rook on d4 and pre-move. Put the rook on d6, d4, and you can pre-move forever. 34 seconds left for Timur Rajabov. No yeah, increment. It. This is it. it. Rook d4, just pre-move. Rook d4. Yeah, is Nepo going to play f4, f takes e5? <laughs> that would be tragic. It's still a draw. Yeah, you can still pre-move because fe5, you'll see f4 on the board. You just pre-move. Just pre-move, Timor. Pre-move those rook moves. Yeah. So the good thing about the hey. pre-move is if the pawn promotes, that's a check, so the rook move would yeah, be legal. Yeah, but d8 knight? Oh, oh, that's a very sneaky move. Yeah, tricky. very. Sneaky. I mean, if, if if that actually happens, that would be the most legendary under promotion maybe ever. And then knight c six. True, but I, I think it's going to be a draw here. Yeah, I mean, the fact that Jan is tanking tells me he's going to make the draw. He has. Um, he's offered the draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the fact that Jan is tanking. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, a it's of... official. Oh my gosh, Levy. I that's so dirty. You would totally do that against me. That is so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually I stole that from chat. Someone said under promote to a knight, and uh, oh, that is so dirty. Because any other promotion, yeah. Well, I guess you could do a rook too. Rook, yeah. rook. Yeah, wow. you could do. I don't know what genius yeah. in the chat wrote under promote to a knight, but uh, somebody take so the credit. Sick. That is so sick. What yeah. a game! Timur Jabov was leading earlier, then Napomnyshi bounced back, and eventually in this last Armageddon, Timur Jabov. Mm -hmm holds a draw with less time and that means he qualifies to the semi-finals Nepomnyashi is also out of the tournament but we do have our third winner so I'm gonna announce that before the next mm -hmm. Armageddon begins the third signed board goes to Jock Eric and the next draw will be in a few minutes we have two more boards congratulations Jock Eric for your prize and there will be two more boards signed by Hikaru Mm -hmm. I'll get my pens ready. This is unreal. And Nepo, you know, it's, it, it's <laughs> Nepo, <laughs> Nepo apparently left and then also like broke his desk or something. Oh, I, we I, have a clip? Okay. Oh, we yeah. Gotta, I, we gotta watch it, right? Yeah, I gotta. Someone get me a better clip. You guys always like want to be the first, but let, make it a good clip. Catch the, you know, catch it. Like, what happened? Because I don't want to put up a clip and then the game starts and it's all bad. I want to. I like how Hikaru started the day being called the a bad loser and has had the most <laughs> tranquil reaction of anyone eliminated today raised three hundred and fifty five thousand uh, dollars he's okay. chilling here with us and everybody else is smashing laptops yeah um incredible stuff let me get a let me get a clip in the chat please i know a lot of people posting it but sometimes you wait a little bit you get it from higher quality but okay let's uh let's pull it up we've watched every reaction Yep. It's. I feel like today has been a very stressful day. It's like, been intense, and we have we have a game. So, let's quickly let's watch this. Yeah. Yes, let's quickly watch this clip as as our as our final game of the day has started. 
Final Armageddon of the day. And again, um, white starts with five minutes, black starts with four minutes. There's no increment, but in case of a draw, black moves on to the next stage. So in terms of color, so, it was Wesley who right. chose. Got the clip Flash ready. Clip. Break okay. through the black defences. Black's Rook just sitting on those two squares, two protected squares. White has no way to break through. 26 what? seconds, it should be enough for Rajabov. Uh, oh, OK, and uh, that's it. As a draw, Rajabov is through. And Timur Rajabov is the winner of the quarterfinal match against Janne Pomniaci and will face Daniel wow. Dubov in the semi-final starting tomorrow. Oh, yeah. wow. wow, the man who had retired from chess um, is yes. back. Okay. He's through and I think yeah. we saw Napomniachi throw something there. He mm. reacted very badly. I love the green screen badly. effect. That's because, because he didn't realise the position repeated goes, itself three times for the draw. Right. Um, yeah, Rajabov, he deserves to go through but nerves but I, of I steel. Say, I, I but... love Timur And there he is back with... He's not, his hand is just on, his hand... Oh, there's more to it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Apparently, I did not expect that. Yeah, oh, there was some, we... some, 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 some hitting of the desk. I feel bad because like this game is also going. <laughs> it's no, no. I know, I know. It's uh, we should, you know, this game is is there too. Although I I don't think that in this game. Well, okay, if there's going to be a culprit for overreaction in this game, it's going to be MVL, right? I feel like right. No, but neither player. I think in this game you're not going to see it. But anyway, okay. I'm kind of surprised. So this means Wesley chose white, doesn't it? In this game. Yes, because yeah. he had the right to choose. Because I don't of the like the opening at all, by the way. I don't like this opening at all. For the Wesley. fourth winner, by the way, of a signed board is uh, Sprint Fast. So congratulations they to Sprint fast. fast. They did. That was the fourth board, and we have the final board that will be drawn and announced in two minutes. The final price. Mm -hmm. Correct. This is crazy, guys. What a day. T terrible, terrible position for Wesley, by the way. It's symmetrical, very drawish. Very, very drawish. So, th like, yeah. I, I and... don't like this choice at all. Like, knight e5 and just queen c8. Or queen e8, I mean, sorry. Yeah, no, and this uh... has gone very wrong from, for, for Wesley, and time is already even almost. There's going to be knight g4 lurking as well. Yeah, this seems like a very uh, strange turn of events. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of why I really feel like you need to you need to be careful because like he had that great win in the Nidorf, but or not Nidorf, sorry, in the Gruenfeld. But now it's like Maxim is being very, very super solid, and already the time advantage is gone, and it's symmetrical, and I mean everything is looking up for uh, for Maxim here. Ninety five. <laughs> That's okay. A move. Does it work? So don't take like this; you get mated. Can't you just go? Do you <clears> go <throat> Bishop D eight here? Just Bishop D eight, right? That's what he has just played indeed, yeah. stepping out of knight e7. No, but this is, everything's getting traded. Yeah, knight can go back, but bishop like c7? Bishop e7? Bishop I would have gone to e7 and just go rook c8. This is just a blitz game of three minute with completely symmetrical everything. Exactly, yeah. This is a, a bit of a strange ending, but uh, Anna, rook I think e8? we have our, our final winner. And that is dra, 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 the final winner of a board signed by Hikora Magical Chessboard goes to Rise Ball 1435. Congratulations, Rise Ball. I'm getting hungrier every time I see food names mentioned. Well, you have one, a, a born signed by Hikaru. Thank you so much, everyone, for participating, for your donations. This has been an incredible day. Yeah. Mind blowing, three hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars. I don't like. I don't like what uh, what Maxim did. He just traded queens. Why did he do this? He should not have done this. This was a very bad decision. Is it? Tell us why it's a bad decision. I mean, it's an end game now, and I think it's easier to play for white, basically. And it There's doesn't also... matter that it's close to equal. The time situation will be an issue. I mean, knight c three. I guess b five, e four, knight b knight of six. I mean, it's it's fine, but I just I don't love it. It's still, I, th I mean, it's still fine for Maxime, but it's it's going to be a long end game now. It's not, it's not a guaranteed draw anymore. So like insane. it was very symmetrical and gear. I mean, pretty much guaranteed to be a draw. I felt. Okay, mm -hmm. so e four, of course, knight f six, obviously. The rooks come off. King e two. There goes king e two. Yeah, I mean, I don't like this. I think, I think, I think, I think uh, Maxime really misplayed this. A4, and now there's pressure. So the 20 seconds is going to come in handy here. I think... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. Is there knight c4? 
Wait, why did he take? I thought knight c4 was a draw. Takes t wasn't knight c4 just a draw? Why did he do this? Well, he's gonna play this for a win, I think. Okay, but now knight g4, of course. Bishop g1, f e, and like. I mean, this is this is a draw, but. Oof. I mean, e5 here. I I don't like I don't like what Maxim has done at all. Like e5 is is definitely a move. Okay, trades. Yeah, I, actually, I, th I think I think I think Wesley's gonna win now. Maxim really misplayed this. He really misplayed this. He never should have traded the queens. Like he was just clearly better, or not even better, but clearly equal. And then he played. He wasted moves. Bishop f8 and rook d7 instead of um trading pieces. And now after king c4, I think he's he's on his way to losing this game probably. Oh, bishop c5. That's that seems committal. Didn't you say mm -hmm. you should wait? To make such like with the time in a way, but I mean, I mean, Maxime is down to one minute, so we're getting to the stage where we're already at this at this critical moment. I That's think it's a draw though. There should be a draw because Black can go G five and open up. There shouldn't be enough pawns left on the board. Like G G five at some moment, maybe not here. But Knight B three is a really nice move. He does know. play G five to try to trade as many pawns as possible. There's no merit to taking and playing h4, right? It's probably just F4 a draw. Then. F4 and then I get the outside pawn. Oh, ew. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> ew. <laughs> Jeez. Still Man, just, tricky. Man, Still just tricky. Uno reverse carded me over there. I just thought I was a genius with some h4. Man just said, oh, gross. Yeah, I mean, it's probably... Okay, knight d4. Okay. So oh my. now I think you, you just what go knight d7, right? Or do you take on f4 first? Takes knight c6, fg3. King and pawn again, they traded. Oh, Wait, is this... G4, he's saying that you cannot cross? Maxime is a bloody genius. How did he see that in one second? He is a bloody genius. He is a bloody genius. And he just, there's nothing. Bloody it's just genius. a draw. So king c4, king c6, king d4, king d6, he's maintaining the opposition and white cannot cross. This is a draw, but he's... Oh, I was going to say he's got less time. He already has more time than Wesley. Yeah. He cannot no, be it's flagged. Wrong. It's over. It's Wesley's out. MVL's wow. in. And it's official. It's Every official. Every single person from the last semifinal is out. Is that official? Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Holy... <laughs> what? <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, someone spiked the punch bowl, apparently, or put something in the global water supply. Because, yeah, it's, it's, that's very shocking. I mean, wow. like, uh, I mean, first of all, Magnus losing is completely insane, at, at least the way he lost. Me losing also, I think, is a surprise. But then Wesley also losing, I mean, is crazy. I mean, Jan, of course, is a surprise, but I think out of the four, it's probably the least of a surprise. But, yeah, like, the fact that, that you know, all three, I mean, Wesley, myself, and Magnus lost and just crazy all the top seeds lost all the top, top four seeds all lost as i just tweeted out the anish giri curse is real <laughs> don't let that man that don't let that man say say your name you want that man to never don't let that man call your stocks don't let that man <laughs> that, mm -hmm. oh my totally, goodness yeah. oh goodness oh goodness me that That's is insane. true anish giri calling Magnus, Hikaru, and Wesley, the top three favorites. They have been doing very well during the tour. And, oh, well. And you know, I, I was going to add, just before we wrap it up, just a couple of things. I was going to add, yeah. Wesley probably did not have some major reaction. So I, I don't think we need to open that clip. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. What I was going to say is, like, in terms of who's left, I think probably the favorite, based on his play, and I say this just based on the play and the speed chess championship, is probably technically, I would say, Maxime. But I think Maxime mm. and Dubov are probably the two favorites at this at this point, and probably by a, by a fairly substantial margin, I would say. What's crazy about Maxime making it through now to the semis is that he was barely qualifying. He needed mm -hmm. a miracle in the last round of the preliminaries, playing with the black pieces against Sasha Grishuk. He had to win. He had to win on demand, and Grishuk um, just went wrong in a rook end game. It it's insane how now Maxime is. Is on mm -hmm. the fly. He's going through to the a, semis. Do we actually have a Wesley reaction or not? I think we it, do, don't we? It, it's probably Wesley literally like shrugging his lip and getting out of his seat. 
<laughs> Maybe his cat appeared on camera. I can't, well, we I can't imagine. Why don't, we why don't we watch it? Just sure. Right, yes, for out of posterity, <laughs> out of respect to Wesley, this will be the final clip of the day, and then we will mm -hmm. give okay. everybody uh, their channel back. All right, here we go, my friends. Wesley, so breaking it's everything. Yeah. You know, everything in the vicinity was probably set on fire. Let's watch it. Um, they have roughly the same amount of time as Wesley, so he, okay, there's no way to win. repeated the position. What a bad decision. Swapping off knights. Oh, look at Maxim. Look fight. at Maxim Vashielograv. He had actually a big smile on his face. There it is, Maxim Vashielograv, going through to the semi final. Absolutely disgusting by Wesley. I mean, what we saw earlier today was bad, but that, I mean, that should be, he should be on a wait list for the next invitation. I mean, he that was. Just add for like three seconds. Wow. It's like it's so angry. That's <laughs> gross what we just saw there. Uh, unforgivable, frankly. Um, yeah, yeah, hilarious. But no, I mean, I, I mean, Wesley, of course, is very chill. I mean, his reaction was like my reaction, wasn't it? Kind of. I mean, it was the same thing. Just shake your head, get up. That's life. Big deal. Yeah. Move on. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you, it's hard to be mad. You turn around, there's a cat, you know, like, what are you going to. That's mean, true, the... too. True. Let the cat yeah. destroy the stuff in your house. That's the golden rule. Mm -hmm. Exactly, um, yeah. Wow. Because I don't know what to say. Uh, today was crazy. The, the the donation notifications are still going off because they are delayed like an hour at this point. I I, I mean, what mm -hmm. a day. 350,000. Uh, yeah. What a unbelievable. day, exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much to each and every one of you for, for donating, for supporting such a worthy cause. And Hikaru, thank you so much for, for letting us cover the show. But now we're going to hand it over to you. I believe from now on the plan is Hikaru will be here to broadcast the tournament for you guys. And Levi and I will be alternating as co-hosts. So tomorrow it's Hikaru and Levi on the two channels of theirs. I think I might just do a just chatting or something casual on my one because we are so close to hitting 100k. I will want to be on air tomorrow when we yes, hit 100k. Anna, you might hit it today. You're at 99,500. No, no. well. You're, you're 99,500. You're what? 500 away. So <laughs> you're you're either going to hit it today or hit it tomorrow. But I mean, you, you actually should keep streaming too, because I think you'll hit it if you keep streaming. <laughs> Yeah, this is, I, um... I didn't expect it. I thought the after parties at Hikaru and Hikaru, um, I think that the donation goal for 200k was was that you, you're going to keep streaming and now everyone is excited about the after party. Mm -hmm. that, that's but the I place mean, to no, go. What I was going to say, though, is you, you, should, you should just stream for another hour as well yourself because um, if you stream for another hour, you're going to hit it on stream. Like Otherwise, you're going to have to recognize it tomorrow. No, it's just not the same. I see. When, yeah. When like, I mean, I mean if, you, if you're like you're offline, it's just not the same thing. I'm going to well, take the professional if... advice then because I was going to raid Hikaru simply for the after party. So I'm going to raid Hikaru after I properly thank each and every one of you for the follows because this is insane. Yeah, all like 2,000, by the way. She has to read uh, all those users. <laughs> hey, Cara, do you want to do what we did the past few days where you, you can, you can, uh, you want to jump off the Zoom call and then boot up sure. OBS? Yeah, I will. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Okay. We'll you see you in a, in a minute or two, but yeah. epic stream, guys. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. Yeah. Big shout out to both of you. Great job. Thank you so much. And we'll be back tomorrow, Levi and Hikaru. And then the day after it will be Hikaru and me. I, uh, I will do what I've been doing every day. I will film a beautiful recap video of the entire day's action scoreboard. There will be clips. There will be a storyline. Desks will be smashed. Lips will <laughs> queeze, you know, queeze, whatever Wesley did. So that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, Anna's going to keep streaming. We're going to get to a hundred thousand. I just, Someone, Hikaru, send me a message when you're ready to end, and one final goodbye to chat. What an unbelievable day. Thank you all for the 355,000 donated to charity. That's absolutely mind-blowing. All right. We are ready to Thank end, Thank you Anna. so much, everyone. I'm going to stay on my channel for a little longer. See you, Levi, tomorrow. I'm going to be watching for sure, and in the meantime, thanks again to all. each and every one of you. Thank Bye, you. Bye, guys. <laughs>